One minute stations, one minute until airtime. Your next time cue will be with 30 seconds until airtime. Studios, when you hear, please start your archive recording. Stations, you're coming up on 30 seconds until airtime. On my mark, 30 seconds until airtime. And there it is, so please start your archive recording. Mark, 30 second stations, your next and final time cue will be with 15 seconds until airtime. Stations, please be advised that you must disable your streaming to websites and apps during this IMG broadcast. Coming up on 15 seconds until airtime, Mark, 15 second stations, have fun. The following is a presentation of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. This is where the dogs play. Shakes and bakes, drives, high kiss off the glass, go! Blocked at the rim, oh nasty block. You gotta be at your very best every night. Driving one-handed, pulls up for a three at the horn. Oh yeah! And a two-handed monster dog down the lane. Alley-oop, oh yeah! Welcome to the Grindhouse Killer Burgers Bulldog Courtside Show. Live fast, eat well with Grindhouse Killer Burgers. Now to Courtside along with Chuck Dowdle. Here's the voice of the Bulldogs, Scott Howard. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to another afternoon of Georgia Bulldogs basketball. Today from the Cayman Islands Classic on Grand Cayman Island, Georgia will play the Redbirds of Illinois State here in their opener. We are inside the John Gray Gymnasium for this three-day tournament, and this will be the first matchup ever between the Bulldogs and the Illinois State Redbirds. Both teams 2-1 and one coming into this pre-Thanksgiving holiday event. So here we go, game one for the Bulldogs. Georgia will play either Clemson or Akron tomorrow, depending on the outcome of our game this afternoon. And those two teams are finishing up as we speak. Less than 10 seconds to go in uh, the game between Clemson and Akron, which is the... Uh the opener of this three-day event here in the Cayman Islands. Our courtside show is brought to you by Grindhouse Killer Burgers. Live fast, eat well with Grindhouse Killer Burgers. We'll return to the Grand Cayman Island Classic right after this on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. You know, Georgia peaches don't just come from Georgia. They come from farms in Georgia, worked by farmers, working hard to cultivate the crops that drive the state's economy. That's why Georgia Farm Bureau cultivates farmers with support through advocacy and benefits that save families money, like home and auto insurance. Join online for just a couple bucks a year. Easy as peach cobbler. Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world. Globally or locally, UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network, brought to you by AutoZone. Keep your engine light in check with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service that helps you troubleshoot the problem. Let's get you what you need. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Hey, Bulldog fans. With Aaron's, having what you want is much easier than you think. Because now you can lease to own all the brands you love in furniture, electronics, and appliances. Yes, all those things you've always dreamed of. At Aaron's, you don't need credit, and you have flexible payment options so you can pay little by little until you own it. Plus, delivery and setup are free, so you can just focus on enjoying. Visit us in-store or at Aaron's.com and discover for yourself how easy it is to have what you want. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Holiday Inn Express wants to let you in on a little secret. You can now get at least 20% off at HolidayInExpress.com during our annual sale early access. We'll even throw in free breakfast. Just kidding. Breakfast is always included in your stay at Holiday Inn Express. 
Book now and save at HolidayInExpress.com. Terms apply. All right, one down, 11 to go. And game number two will feature Georgia and Illinois State. Welcome back to the Cayman Islands Classic along with Chuck Dowdle and our producer engineer, Tony Schiavone. Scott Howard with you here in the John Gray Gymnasium. Cabell Philpott's in our Piedmont Healthcare Network studios. Sorry about that, Cabell. This is the Grindhouse <laughs> Killer Burgers Courtside Show. <laughs> We're not sorry at all. Cal. Live fast, eat well with Grindhouse Killer Burgers. All right, so we know who the uh, the winner and the loser are and which bracket which side of the bracket they go on from game 1 we're going to find out over the next couple hours where Georgia fits into all of that if they win they'll play Clemson if the dogs lose we'll play Akron tomorrow but here's the matchup the first ever between a couple of teams that like uh, red and black and and silver uh, the Redbirds of uh, Illinois State and the Georgia Bulldogs no question about it, Scott. Uh, you know, Clemson won that first one, 72-69. Good game. Both those teams played well. Uh, Akron closed fast at the end but just came up short. So they go into the loser's bracket. And as you said, Clemson uh, would play Georgia tomorrow if Georgia's fortunate enough to beat Illinois State. And Illinois State may well be, I think in the minds of a lot of people, the second-best team to Clemson in this tournament. I have a little bit of a different opinion, but we'll see. I will tell you this. Coach Green told you a while ago that that this uh, the travel plans, you know, coming off a win on, on Friday night in Athens, traveling on Saturday, and then, you know, having to be around a hotel. It's just, it's just a different vibe, different atmosphere, a small gymnasium uh, here on Grand Cayman. Uh, everything is just different about this. But I will tell you this, he told the team, he put them together because they, you know, they had to do some of their walkthroughs and film work in a ballroom in a hotel. Right. And he put down tape on the floor, you know, of a, of a, a free throw box and a, a three-point line to do their walkthroughs. And he, he made the point to him, you know, if you're going to be a really good basketball team, you can't just be good on the court. you got to be good in the ballroom. His point being that everything you do to prepare for a game matters, and you've got to put your all into it, even if it's just watching film, which they did of Illinois State, and then going through walkthroughs in a ballroom in a hotel, you've got to be 100% committed to that in order to be a good basketball team. And I tell you, I think it got these kids' attention. I think he's uh, he, he's very positive with these guys. And in this particular instance, in this situation, I mean, he told me, and we'll hear the uh, interview in just a little bit here in the uh, Grindhouse Killer Burgers courtside show, uh, but he, he doesn't see any any kind of a distraction from these guys in this environment. He said they've been able to have a little fun over the weekend because they got to have them here Saturday. Uh, so, you know, Saturday fun and, and, and some work and Sunday more the same and then uh, get up this morning and start preparing for this ball game. But he says he hasn't seen any of that. Or it, they've been business. Yep. They've been focused on their business I, when I'll, it's time to focus on their business. I will tell you, I was in with them with the film work and with the walkthroughs both uh, last night and again this morning. And, uh, yeah, it was all business. They also, by the way, they took time out uh, to have a study period. They, don't forget schoolwork, you know. And uh, yep. they had they had a study period. They were all in there uh, working on their individual subjects. Uh, and they did about an hour and a half of that last night before dinner. So uh, there's been a lot of things that, you know, you had to account for uh, on this trip other than just getting the team down here and uh, throwing the ball in the air and start to play basketball. Well, that's one of the strange things here, too, here in Georgetown, Grand Cayman Island. Uh, this gymnasium is in a school complex, and there's about two or three different schools. Uh, there's a private school on the other side of the fence, and then there's this John Gray Prep Academy uh, where we are, and school is going on. <laughs> so there's kids all over the place yep. outside, and they bring a lot of them in here. To, uh, to help cheer on the team. During a game. They yeah. have a designated team to cheer for. So there's a lot of noise in this, in this gym during these games. And, and there are other things that are different here. For instance, which side of the road you drive on, Tony Schiavone? Uh, <laughs> well, that's the way he does well, normally. Well, <laughs> you always ask well, that question. That is scary. Yeah. <laughs> because he he gets in that car that had the had the steering wheel on the on the passenger side, and I'm scared that I've got my fingernails dug into the dashboard. <laughs> and uh, and and Tony's you know he's pulling out and he's driving over on that left side, and I'm screaming. Then I realize no, that's right. You know. So. Well, Tony's advice to me was he said stay on the left because you drive on the left side here 
Don't hit a chicken or a lizard and you'll be fine <laughs> because those things are everywhere. They are everywhere. Chickens and here. lizards are just running free. But uh, we're glad to be here. Georgia's glad to be here. And the Bulldogs in Illinois State are coming up. And Cabell Philpott is coming up, too. Uh, he's in our Piedmont Healthcare Network studios. Cab is. Uh, it's a little chillier there. A little bit, yeah. A little yeah. bit there in. Uh, in our uh, home network and, headquarters. Shall we tell him, Cab, this is the first game ever where Tony, Scott, and I are all in shorts. Ah, oh, you gave away our secret. <laughs> all right, we'll continue from the Piedmont Healthcare Studios and Cabell Philpot here as we count you down to tip off for the Bulldogs in Illinois State next here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Get ready for a meal to remember because Kroger is here to help you save on an amazing spread for your Thanksgiving feast. Enjoy low prices on the perfect turkey or ham, delicious produce that's always fresh, plus delightful desserts from the bakery. And save on everything you need to celebrate the season deliciously. That's how you holiday. Kroger brand frozen turkeys are 59 cents a pound. Limit two with additional $25 purchase. And sweet potatoes are 39 cents a pound with card. Now at Kroger. Anyone can deliver a box of groceries, but when you consider the source, only Kroger can bring you the fresh, delicious food and quality products you already know and love. And no matter how you like to get your groceries, Kroger makes it easy with store pickup, delivery, and now you can have your order shipped right to your door. So now it's easier than ever to check out while you're chilling when you shop online with the Kroger app or at Kroger.com today. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. You know, growing up in a coffee family is no different than growing up in any other family, except that we all kind of share one affinity, and that's for a great tasting cup of coffee. Matt Siraj, fourth generation owner, Community Coffee. I believe people can taste the difference family makes. It's a fullness in the mouth. It's a it's a flavor impression that follows all the way through until 30 seconds after that sip of coffee. It's that rich, smooth flavor that you find in Community Coffee. Our family story continues at communitycoffee.com. Oh, Jerry, what are you doing? You haven't hit the golf ball yet. Sorry, Coach. My shoulder's killing me, and so's my swing. Well, I'm not sure it's going to get you a hole in one, but try Blue Emu. It works to soothe all muscles and joints, and best of all, it doesn't smell, so you won't stink up the course. Hey, thanks, Coach. Now, how about another round of putt-putt? Sounds good, but get ready to lose, because I think I figured out this windmill hole. Blue Emu, available at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and other national retailers. Welcome back to the Grindhouse Killer Burgers Bulldog Courtside Show. Now, scores and highlights from around college basketball. Let's go inside the Piedmont Healthcare Network Studios. Here's Cabell Philpott. Five SEC teams in action today, taking part in four different holiday events across the country. Your dogs get the action started for the SEC as they're playing Illinois State. John Gray Gymnasium, Georgetown, Cayman Islands, part of the Cayman Islands Classic, tipping off here just a few moments from now, about 10 minutes away from tip uh, in game two of the afternoon. Clemson beating Akron in game one just moments ago, 72-69. The Dogs and Illinois State, the winner of this game, will play Clemson tomorrow and the loser to play Akron. Getting things started out in Maui this afternoon, eighth-ranked Auburn, and Xavier, Lahaina Hip Civic Center in Maui, a 2.30 tip. That first game uh, for the Maui Gym Invitational. The winner of that ball game will take on uh, the winner of the Duke game coming up after that. They will play San Diego State. The top-ranked Blue Devils will say 4.30 p.m. Eastern scheduled start. So it could have a top-10 matchup in day two in Maui between Auburn and Duke if the eighth-ranked Auburn Tigers can take down Xavier this afternoon in game one, and Duke can follow suit a few uh, hours later. 12th-ranked Kansas State hosting Missouri at 7.30 in the Paradise Jam in St. Thomas. Kansas State undefeated on the season at 4-0. Again, 12th-ranked team in the land. Vanderbilt and taking on Liberty as part of the Commodore Classic. Liberty beating Kent State as one of their three victories to start the year undefeated at 8 o'clock tip from Memorial Gym in Nashville. 15th ranked Tennessee, uh, excuse me, 15th ranked Mississippi State on the road at Arizona State, part of the MGM Resorts main event. 
Mississippi State, its first Power 5 test of the season, taking on the Sun Devils, an 11 o'clock Eastern tip in that ballgame. Top 25 action, we told you about the top-ranked Blue Devils. Game 2 of the Maui Gym Invitational this afternoon at 4.30 against San Diego State. 14th-ranked Florida State will host Canisius at 7 o'clock. 7th-ranked North Carolina gets together with St. Francis in their first game of the Continental Tire Las Vegas Invitational Campus game. That game at the Smith Center. 6th-ranked Nevada hosting California Baptist at 10 p.m. The Continental Tire Las Vegas Holiday Invitational Campus game. And finally, tonight, 17th-ranked UCLA hosting Presbyterian in that same tournament. Uh, one I left off, third-ranked Gonzaga and Illinois battling tonight in the nightcap of the Maui Gym Invitational at 11.30 tip from Maui. Dogs getting set to battle against Illinois State. First game for Georgia in the Cayman Islands Classic. When we return, we'll get the thoughts from head coach Tom Crean right after these messages on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Coach Kirby Smart here. Let's talk about the official health care provider of the Georgia Bulldogs. Piedmont Healthcare. Piedmont makes sure that our dogs are playing their best and they're also there for the times they're not. But you don't have to be a college athlete to get bumps and bruises. With urgent care, same day appointments, virtual visits from your smartphone or desktop, and Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens, they've got the care you need when you need it. Booking an appointment is only a click away. So for game day and every day, get better at piedmont.org slash UGA. Did you know Georgia is one of the leading producers of pecans in the entire world? That's how hard Georgia farmers work to help cultivate the state's economy. And that's why Georgia Farm Bureau cultivates farmers with agricultural research and assistance programs and access to benefits that save families money, like home and auto insurance. You can join online for just a few bucks a year. So, get cracking. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Ah, the holidays. At BMW, we want to remind you of some excuses to enjoy the ride home a little longer. If you're in the all-new BMW X5 with the upgraded navigation within iDrive 7.0, consider the detour excuse. Hey, Dad, ran into construction. Gotta take a detour. Make the most of the road home. Hurry in to the BMW Road Home Sales Event to receive exceptional offers on select models now through November 30th. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs! Hey, you. Yeah, you. Holiday Inn Express wants to let you in on a little secret. You can now get at least 20% off at HolidayInExpress.com during our annual sale early access. We'll even throw in free breakfast. Just kidding. Breakfast is always included in your stay at Holiday Inn Express. Book now and save at HolidayInExpress.com. Terms apply. You're listening to Georgia Basketball. Now, time for your all-access trip inside the Dogs locker room and a visit with UGA head coach Tom Crean. With Coach Crean, here's the voice of the Bulldogs, Scott Howard. Welcome back to the Cayman Islands Classic. Coach Tom Crean is here with us, and this is brought to you by UPS. Working together to achieve great things like the Bulldogs, that's problem solving. Visit UPS.com to learn more. Official logistics partner of Georgia Athletics. Here with the coach, uh, Tom, you guys got down here a, a couple of days ago. Now you're getting ready to play Illinois State in the first game of this tournament. What's your experience been like thus far? I think it's been really good. And playing Friday night and then having to turn right around and leave Saturday was an adjustment for us as far as uh, turning around that quick, but it was good. It was good for us to go through that, and we had a really good practice on Saturday night. They had a good time uh, at a dinner, and then yesterday was a good combination of basketball and a lot of uh, relaxation for them. They got to get in the ocean. They got to get in the, uh, 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 the pool. They got to relax, but we also got a lot of basketball done. We didn't overdo it on the court, but it's here now, and it's, it's always a balancing act no matter how veteran your team is, when you've got three games in three days, but especially with a new program like this for us, we've got to make sure we're understanding you know, what we're trying to get accomplished 
and how important it is to be locked in at what we're trying to take away and what we're trying to take advantage of. Are you finding that's a challenge? And you, I know you've only been down here a couple of days, but in this environment, that seems like it, you know, look, we, we're down here to work also. Want to have some fun, but we, we've got yeah, work I to do. I haven't sensed that at all with these guys. I, have, I really haven't. That hasn't been a sense. So I, I feel good with that. I haven't, uh, I wanted them to enjoy it. But we've been basically around the hotel, and, and it's a, we're in a great spot, as you know. So there, there's really not a big need to go anywhere else other than what we have right there at the resort. So it's good, but I think they'll, they'll understand. And this is where three games in three days, you've got to have everybody ready to play when their number is called. And if you sit there and get distracted, uh, if you worry about the wrong stuff, it can get you in a hurry. And, and it's going to be a great learning environment for us in here. What can you tell us about Illinois State? Very fast. Definitely the fastest, quickest team. Uh, we had hard matchups with Temple, uh, with Rose and Alston, but definitely Malik Yarbrough is like that. And his ability to drive and overpower you. Uh, he's, been a, he's been a name player for a long period of time. He played at St. Louis, then he transferred to Illinois State. So he can score uh, very quick. Uh, they shoot it quick. When they can get the ball behind, uh, if you go under a ball screen, if you go under a handoff, they're firing it. This is not a deliberate offense. This is an offense that wants to score quick, wants to score on the first side, uh, second side. Uh, they're just not going to get down into the shot clock very much. What are some of the matchups you like on, from our uh, standpoint? Well, I think we have a decision that we can go big and make them match up with us. Uh, or we can go and sm- match up with them. I think we're going to try to see if they can match up with us. We've got to get the ball inside. I mean, we're going to shoot the ball better as time goes on. We've got to do a better job of being more disciplined and being ready to shoot and our footwork and follow through on our shots right now. But we've got to go and establish that we're going to be physical, that we're going to play around the bucket, that we're going to drive to the bucket, and that we're going to get on the glass. Coach, thanks for your time. Much good luck to you. Thank you, Scott. All right, we'll see you after the ball game. That's Coach Tom Green. Brought to you by UPS, and we'll give you the starting lineups for the Bulldogs and the Redbirds of Illinois State when we come back to the Cayman Islands Classic here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Getting your first real paycheck is like celebrating your own Independence Day. It's life-changing once it's deposited, which you can do using Regions Mobile Deposit in your Regions Mobile app. Choose when and where to make the money available, take a couple of pictures, click a button or two, and boom! One major achievement in the record books. We get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Learn more at regions.com slash mobile deposit. Regions, member FDIC, conditions and fees apply. Whether you're an elite athlete, in youth sports, or a weekend warrior, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network keeps you in the game and ready for action. Our team of experts offers a full range of sports medicine services to prevent and treat injuries and improve performance. With 10 locations in the Atlanta region, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network is in your neighborhood. For details, call 1-855-NH-SPORT. That's 1-855-NH-SPORT. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Libman makes a difference. The Libman Mop Crew is part of our winning team. The Libman Mop Crew makes sure the hardwood is clean and safe for players every game at Stegman Coliseum. No matter what kind of flooring you have at your home court, Libman has the tools to keep it clean. Our mops, brooms, and brushes are proudly family made in the USA. Visit Libman.com to see our whole lineup and for a store locator. That's Libman.com. Indeed knows finding the right hire takes time away from your business. Hiring a qualified data engineer felt like a second job. More job seekers use Indeed than any other site, so there's no better place to find someone with the skills you're looking for. I needed someone with a master's in computer science and database experience. Plus, Indeed screener questions help you find your shortlist fast. Now I'm back to having just one job. See why more than 3 million companies worldwide use Indeed to hire. Post your job at Indeed.com slash hire. Indeed, the world's number one job site. Source.com score total visits. This is where the dogs play. Shakes the base, drive. Mike is on the glass. Locked at the rim. Whole nasty block. You gotta be at your very best every night. Driving one handed stuff. First three and gone. He fake him out inside the loop. Finish it. Pulls up for a three. Hit the horn. Oh! Today.
Today's coverage of dogs basketball is brought to you by Piedmont Healthcare, the official health care provider for the Georgia Bulldogs. Barbasol, here's a no-brainer. Barbasol is making razors. Try the Barbasol Ultra 6 Plus today. And by State Farm, here to help life go right. Talk to an agent at 800 State Farm. Now, to courtside, along with Chuck Dowdle, here's the voice of the Bulldogs, Scott Howard. Welcome back to the Cayman Islands Classic, the John Gray Gymnasium here. Uh, and this is when we normally tell you who the starting lineups will be for each team, but uh, they haven't been submitted yet. So we're about 10 minutes away from tip-off between the uh, Bulldogs and the Redbirds, we can tell you. And, uh, t- and Chuck, Tom Crean has mixed up his lineup a little bit with, well, with he, each game. I, I think I just heard him tell you that he, he's leaning towards starting big and making them match up with us. Well, here's who we started uh, in Friday's win over Sam Houston State. We started uh, T. Sean Hightower, uh, uh, Tyree Crump, Rayshon Hammonds, Nick Co- uh, Claxton, and Derek Ogbede. Now, that would be starting big. We would see, <laughs> that, that would be we would see some form of that lineup today. Uh, for Illinois State, they, they've got a record of 2-1. and one. Uh, They're guys that started in their last game. Uh, and they are also 2-1, and one, but they haven't played since uh, a week ago. They played last Tuesday was their last game, so they've been off a little little while before making the trip here. Uh, Zach Copeland, a 6'4 guard. Keyshawn Evans, a 6-foot guard. Isaac Gassman is a 6'5 guard. And then uh, Malik Yarbrough, a 6'6 forward, and Phil Fain. And those are their two top players. And no Fain is very good at 6'9". Yeah. Yeah, Fain is a guy that you – but they got no replacement for him. If he gets in foul trouble, I can tell you right now, there's nobody that's going to pick up his slack. Uh, and Malik Yarborough is a guy that, that they want to use a lot. Uh, you heard Coach Crean say they want to shoot fast off the screen, and uh, that's something that uh, that Georgia worked on uh, in their walkthroughs is, is, you know, being quick with the hands and, and not let them use those screens to get a quick shot off uh, to, you know, make them slow that down and make them – pushing them out a little farther out than they really want to be. Uh, and also, you know, when you're talking about Yarbrough, you're talking about a guy that's uh, right-handed, but he is predominantly right-handed in that, it, you know, he wants to go right hand over left shoulder. And so if you can, if you can, you know, play that left shoulder strong, make him turn the other way, uh, you, you know, it's going to disrupt what he wants to do. Speaking of hands, uh, you pointed out that Nicholas Claxton has a, a little problem with his left hand and maybe his left wrist. He took a really hard fall uh, against Sam Houston State on Friday night, Scott, and, and uh, at the time continued to play. We thought he was fine, but uh, it's been a little sore. Uh, they were a little concerned about, you know, would he be able to go, but he's had it taped up. Uh, I watched him warm up, and, you know, you can tell it, it may give him a little bit of a problem, but, uh, you know, Nicholas Claxton, that kid's – First off, he's going to show up with a chip on his shoulder. He wants to kick your rear end and then go home. And, uh, and so that's, that's, that's the attitude he's going to come with, and that's what makes him so much fun to watch. We know here in the islands, it might be a chicken on his shoulder when he shows up. <laughs> well, there, there are a lot of them around. There was one. Uh, Tony and I came in the arena yesterday just to check things out. And we get walk some lunch. Out, yeah, we, we walk outside the, uh, the arena, and there were a couple of, you know, roosters out by our car. So uh, <laughs> they weren't asking for money or anything? No, no, just a couple of roosters just walking around out there. We're still a few minutes away from uh, tipping this one off and uh, still waiting on the starting lineups to be uh, submitted. Uh, as we said, the Illinois State Redbirds out of normal Illinois, a uh, record of 2-1. and one. Their win so far this season over Florida Gulf Coast, that was their opener. Then they went to Nashville and lost. 100 to 89 to a, a good Belmont team. Very that good team Belmont is good year team, in yeah. and year out. And then uh, Chicago State was their last game. Uh, and that was a, a week ago tomorrow when they uh, last played, and they beat Chicago State 75 71. Chicago State, one of the four teams in this 12 team field of this event it's that, not didn't, in here. that didn't get to come here. They went to Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, so they're playing there with East Tennessee State and, and Sam, Houston. Uh, Sam Houston State. and and uh, Jackson State are the are the four schools there, and then the eight here, of course, are having a lot more fun. Uh, well, <laughs> certainly, the, the, I'm sure the weather is, is a lot better. But this is a good field here. Uh, the uh, gym probably will not be uh, quite as packed for uh, game two as it was for game one. Uh, Clemson b- brought a lot of people. There are there are a few Bulldog fans here, and uh, our side has been uh, 
uh, supplemented uh, by yes. the students from the nearby schools, as you pointed out earlier. And uh, it, it's just uh, it's just going to be a different atmosphere. And that will figure in to how you approach this game and how you play this game. Illinois State has a, uh, a nice section of fans. They brought a lot of folks. And who blames them wanting to get out of uh, the Illinois cold to get down here uh, and to watch three days of basketball? Yeah, Not a bad I, I don't, deal. I don't want to rub it in, but I, what I'm hearing is that we could be in for a cold wave. They could plummet. To 82 tonight. Oh, goodness. So uh, wow. if, that, if that happens. With a little bit of a slight ocean breeze. Yeah. Huh? If it plummets down <laughs> to 82, I don't know what we'll do. Well, there's sand in the roads when we were coming over, but it was the sand blowing up from the beach. <laughs> Georgia and Illinois State are the two teams that will play here in our, uh, our game number two uh, of this contest. And we need to take a break. Okay, let's take a break. We'll come back with our Ford keys to the game. Hopefully we have our starting lineups by then. And uh, we'll get this one underway. In less than five minutes, Georgia and Illinois State here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. You know, Georgia peaches don't just come from Georgia. They come from farms in Georgia, worked by farmers, working hard to cultivate the crops that drive the state's economy. That's why Georgia Farm Bureau cultivates farmers with support through advocacy and benefits that save families money, like home and auto insurance. Join online for just a couple bucks a year. Easy as peach cobbler. Hear whatever you love, wherever you love to listen. For a limited time, Sirius XM is available free through November 26th. Listen free on your inactive satellite radio, online, and on the Sirius XM app. Hear college sports coverage on Sirius XM SEC radio, plus commercial-free music in addition to comedy, talk, news, and more anywhere you go. Don't miss out. Listen in the car, on the go, and bring us home for free now through November 26th. Some older Sirius satellite radios may not be capable of receiving the free listening channels. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. We dogs are known for always giving 110%, both on and off the field. But no matter how hard we work, we can't deny that getting sick is easy. Luckily, getting care is too. As the official health care provider of the Georgia Bulldogs, Piedmont is committed to getting us better. With urgent care, same-day appointments, virtual visits from your smartphone or desktop, and Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens, they've got the care you need when you need it. Booking an appointment is only a click away. So for game day and every day, get better at Piedmont.org slash UGA. Hi, son. You're on speaker. Just got back from the park. Guess I'm getting used to civilian life. Mom's here, too. Hi, honey. Just making dinner. Your sister's into this gluten-free thing. (laughs) Am I boring you, dear? It's just good to hear your voice, Mom. A call from home takes you home. AT&T proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military veterans and their families. Get started in store or visit att.com slash military savings for details. Coverage not available everywhere. Exclusions, eligibility, and other restrictions apply. Hey, welcome back to the John Gray Gymnasium, Grand Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands Classic as we are a few moments away from Georgia and Illinois State. Quickly, let's give you the lineups now as uh, we finally got them. Uh, Georgia will start uh, Turtle Jackson at one guard spot for Coach Tom Crean's uh, crew. Turtle is a six foot four senior from Athens. Also, Ty Fagan getting the start today, one of the freshmen. Fagan, a six foot three freshman from Thomaston, Georgia. Rayshawn Hammonds. Nick Claxton and Derek Ogbede round out our crew, and those three are regulars, at least in the starting lineup. He is going big. Uh, Hammonds is 6'8 sophomore from Norcross. Claxton is a 6'11 sophomore from Greenville, South Carolina. Derek Ogbede, 6'9, 250, a senior from Atlanta. Illinois State will go with uh, Zach Copeland, a 6'4 guard. Keyshawn Evans, a 6'0 uh, guard. Uh, Phil Fain is a uh, 6'9 senior forward. Uh, William Tinsley is a uh, 6'6 senior forward, and Malik Yarbrough, also a forward. He is a 6'6 senior from Zion, Illinois. All right, now it's time for our keys to the game, presented by Ford. Elevate your game with a new F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. Chuck's got our keys. All right, Scott, first thing we want to do is we want to play fast, but we got to keep those turnovers coming down. We started our first three games averaging better than 20 turnovers, but what improvement last Friday night in the win over Sam Houston State. Cut it down to 11 and only had four in the second half. we got to keep that trend going. Secondly, we got to create our own energy. 
Uh, this is a small venue, uh, probably fewer than I think easily. We got some fans than, over there too. Well, yeah, those they think better be going back to class here momentarily, <laughs> but like just like a lot did, uh, fewer than a thousand in the house. So look, that's going to be a challenge. You got to you got to create your own energy, and uh, and I think the dogs are perfectly capable of doing that. And finally, look, the red birds have a thin bench. So we have a huge advantage there. Dogs with a huge advantage with a bench. So let's use it. Georgia huddling up right now, going with the uh, red uniforms today. Red tops, red bottoms, a little bit of black and white trim, white numbers. Illinois State's down to our right, the exact same color as the Georgia Bulldogs. They will wear the gray uniforms today with red and black trim as the uh, starting lineups are being announced here in the John Gray Gymnasium. First game was pretty active. Clemson defeating uh, Akron by three, 72 to 69, when it all came uh, down to the final as Akron was back and forth. Yeah. They never really o- o- able to get the lead yeah. from Clemson in that second half, Not but they kept pushing them. They had a one point lead for about that long in the first half, and then Clem- so Clemson was in control of the game throughout. Yes. However, give Akron credit, boy, they put on a shooting display um, down the stretch. Uh, their little guard Jackson, boy, he was just. Filling it up with, uh, it looked like he l- it reminds you of a J.J. Frazier. You know, a poor man's J.J. Frazier. But he was doing the job today, and he, he got him back, and then they finished up uh, losing only by three. So the game really wasn't as close as that final score indicates. But still, uh, give Akron credit for making a run there at the end, but give give Clemson credit for winning it. All right. Uh, two of our officials uh, we know from uh, regular visits to Athens, Tony Green and Ron Groover. And I wasn't given the name of the third official today, but he's there. Familiar faces for the most part. Charles uh, uh, Nicholas Glaxon will jump in center circle. I'm sure he jumped against his dad a time or two growing up. And it'll be Phil Fain, 6'9", senior for Illinois State. Today's tip brought to you by Northside Hospital Atlanta. As we almost get underway here in game number two. Here's the toss and the tip. It's whacked into the backcourt right by Illinois State. So the Redbirds with the ball for the first possession of the ball game, and we are underway here in the Cayman Islands Classic. Yarborough dribble and drive by Hammonds. Driving layup down the right edge of the lane is good for the first points of the contest. Well, you got to be in his left shoulder. You can't let him drive that way. He wants to. He's a predominantly right-handed player. Yarborough, 6'6", six, six, fifth-year senior transfer from St. Louis. We just saw his ability to take our guys to the basket. Claxton's going to pull up. Right elbow jumper, no good. Gets his own miss. Feeds it back to Hammonds. Top of the key three. It rolls in there good. Let's check the whistle and a foul on Illinois State, and the basket should count. Yeah, Tony Green's telling the buck, bucket's good. He's got his, look at that. See that? Got those hands up in the air. That's good. Hammonds with the bucket. Top of the key. The foul happened under the basket after the ball went in. And uh, Hammonds three-pointer brought to you by Scana Energy. First points of the game for the Dogs as Georgia goes ahead 3-2. to two. And Derek Ogbede is at the foul line. Well, he shouldn't be shooting free throws. No, you know, it ought to be Georgia's <laughs> ball on the side. Yeah, the it? officials are discussing that. Trying no? to determine what's well. going on. Ron Groover's talking with uh, Tom Crean right now, one of our officials. They're telling us the three is good. Oh, they got a hook and a hold on uh, Illinois State. It's that a, flagrant, was a, call. a flagrant one. Flagrant one. So Derek Ogbede is going to shoot free throws. All right. How about that? It took some explaining because they had to talk to both benches and the scores table. And how thrilling was that? They actually told radio what was going on. Well, Derek Ogbede hits the free throw. And I got to tell you, De- Derek, Derek's free throw shooting, you've noticed and made point of, uh, has improved dramatically. Yeah, he's 9 uh, of 11 this season. And I was talking to Coach Crean about it, and he said, we simply moved him on the foul line. They moved him over because the way he was lining up with, as he, the, he refers to the nail that's in the plank, in right. the middle, but just moved him over to get his left hand more in line with the basket. How about that? And it worked. He made both free throws there. And then Georgia will get the ball after the uh, flagrant one foul on Illinois State. So Georgia gets another possession, leading it 5-2. to two, And a chance to add to it. Fagan's got the ball on the dribble. He's guarded tightly by Keyshawn Evans. Now Claxton has it. Dribbles left wing on the far side of the floor. 
Fakes. Throws it to uh, Ogbede. High post, left side. Spins into the paint, puts it up. Back iron and down through good. I'll tell you what, when Derek gets that kind of a little soft touch going, how about that's a pretty good possession. Yeah, seven, seven points. points. Wow. That was huge. Seven to two dogs. Redbirds catch, shoot three, right side. Side iron, no good. Rebound going to bounce out of bounds into the seats or close to it. Hammond's chasing the ball, retrieving it. It'll ball to belong to the dogs, and Georgia will bring it up the length of the floor in a seven to two contest. Fagan, the left-handed guard from Thomaston, Georgia, into the front court, far side of the floor. Man-to-man -man defense for the Redbirds. Fagan across the top of the key, got a screen from Ogbede. Hands off to Claxton, take it the other way. And check a whistle. Down away from the action, Tony Green. And oh, we got Derek with a foul. Trying to post up, get position down on the block or up high. And he got called for the foul, said Tony Green. So that'll give the ball back to Illinois State. Redbirds possession, 7-2 is our score. Georgia by five early on, 18-26 on the clock. First half, three ball right side, Illinois State won't go as Tinsley misses, they rebound. Here's Evans, high left wing, top of the key, backs up on the dribble. Going to drive against Ogbede, down the lane, scoop shot, too high off the glass, no good. Rebound off the knee and over oh. the end line, I guess, on Georgia. I'm it not sure. He, like they were on the baseline. Well, I, I was going to say, and yeah, Turtle thought he wasn't. And I think the official's not even really sure. Yeah, yeah, well, there's a lot of lines on this floor. The white line is the baseline. They were working on the black line. I don't think it ever went out of bounds. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, there's lines running all over this there, place. There really are. And, and I, I, th that is, um, I mean, you're right. He, he looked at what was the, the dark line there. It's still going to belong to Illinois State. Or they re they're going to review it. All right, so Ron Groover's going to come over and take a look at it and see if the ball actually was out of bounds. I just I think they were looking at the wrong line. There's one that runs at the at the bottom of the, the foul lane, and then uh, it's about two and a half, three feet until you get to the actual baseline. But we'll see. And this review is brought to you by Barbasol, offering you a chance to score big when you join the new Barbasol Shave Club. Grab your premium starter kit for just $6.99 today with code BASKETBALL at Barbasol.com. Barbasol, game on. But Scott, you're right. It, it's confusing down there because of the way the lines are laid out on this floor. And they do have lines running everywhere. I see volleyball lines out here. They're also looking at the clock, Chuck, because they reset the clock to 30. And the shot off the glass never touched the iron. Uh, so they're, I think they're looking at that. There's a lot of stuff they're looking at <laughs> down to our right at the scores table looking at the video monitor as they review this play. Now back on the court, they've got Illinois State lined up to inbound the basketball. Okay. All right, yeah, they put it at 23. Okay, you know you know what? The black line is the out-of-bounds line, and the white line is for something else. So I was mistaken in saying the, the black line is the out-of-bounds line. It, it runs all the way It's not the that. white one, which is the one I was looking at. So uh, the, the call was correct by the officials, and Illinois State inbounds the ball, and now we're playing again. 7-2, Georgia with a five-point lead. Redbirds have the basketball. Six-foot senior guard Evans with the ball on the right wing. They go to Zach Copeland, 6'4 guard. Back to Evans. Long three, air ball. Wow. And out of bounds. Just above and to the right of the circle. He fired it up from beyond NBA range and missed everything. Turtle Jackson into the front court. On the dribble, now behind the screen from Clax, settles in on the right side. Turtle with a left-hand dribble, now the right, looks into the corner, goes to Hammonds. They feed it into Ogbede, 15 on the clock. Derek trying to find some space, turn around, jump hook on the baseline, won't go, fight for the rebound. On the floor, picked up by wow. Fagan, a little floater from the left How edge of the lane that? by Fagan. Beautiful play, the heads-up play. Ty Fagan looking down, picked up the loose ball, and I mean in a second. Got that ball back up and in. Nine to two dogs. Evans back door runs the baseline. Fires over to Tinsley for a three. He misses it off the iron. Dogs rebound. Fagan's got it up into the front court. Drops it off behind it for Hammonds. Hammonds had to go back and retrieve the ball. Didn't work out as smoothly as they had hoped. But Fagan's got the ball. Dogs have the possession. And a 9-2 lead. Dribble hand off to Turtle. Jackson hops to the left wing. Works above the three-point line. Gets a screen from Derrick. 
Ogbede, Jackson over to Hammonds for a three. No good. Side iron. Rebound. Fagan goes up high on the left side of the iron for the rebound. Now drives baseline. Jump pass to Hammonds. Top of the key. Foul on. Down the lane. He got hammered. And now there's the whistle from Tony Green. Contact was made. A little, when, little delayed. When Hammonds was going in for the shot. And the whistle came a second or so after that. And it's another foul on Illinois State. Foul was on, uh, I believe it was on Fane. I believe who they called it on. There is no scoreboard here to show you which player. <laughs> We're going to have to pick it up off the, off the live stats if we can. Well, even that's a bit of a challenge. Hammonds is at the free throw line for Georgia. Dogs are up 9-2. to two. Ray Sean with a three-pointer and a free throw is good. So he's got four points in the ball game. And the Dogs have an early 10-2 to two lead. Good start for the Dogs here in the Cayman Islands Classic. Isaac Gassman, a 6'5 redshirt sophomore from Ottawa, Illinois, has checked into the ballgame for the Redbirds. Free throw all over the iron. Good for Hammonds, though. We're 4 for 4 from the line, and the Dogs have an 11 2 lead here before the first timeout of the ballgame. 16 39 to go here in the first half. Evans across the top of the key on the dribble, far side. He goes to. Josh Jefferson is into the ball game now. Fane's got it down on the low block. Ogbede is working with him. They double team him now. Fane dips through the defense. Three ball from Jefferson won't go. Rebound chased down by the dogs. Claxton got the loose ball. Big Clax into the front court, left to right. Finds Hammonds open right baseline. Catches, turns around, knocks down a 16-footer. Good. Timeout, Illinois State. Dogs have a double-digit lead. I tell you, Rashawn Hammond's off to a great start, but he's getting a lot of help. Dog, dogs playing extremely well. 16.07 to go, first half, 13 to 2. Timeout, back in a moment, Bulldog Sports Network. Dedication, attention to detail, and going above and beyond. Your Bulldogs count on these qualities to get their game plan right. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans also counts on them to get your mortgage right. Because when it comes to buying a home, the right way should be the only way. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. Proud mortgage partner of Georgia Athletics. Call today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Based on Quicken Loans data and comparison to public data records. Gear up for the season with the best Georgia gifts and apparel from the UGA Bookstore. At the UGA Bookstore, you'll find the biggest selection from top brands like Nike, Southern Tide, Vineyard Vines, Peter Millar, and 47 Brand. Dress for the part with the latest game day styles at the UGA Bookstore in the heart of campus next to the Tate Student Center. Online 24-7 at ugabookstore.com. It's where dogs shop. Whether you're an elite athlete, in youth sports, or a weekend warrior, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network keeps you in the game and ready for action. Our team of experts offers a full range of sports medicine services to prevent and treat injuries and improve performance. With 10 locations in the Atlanta region, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network is in your neighborhood. For details, call 1-855-NH-SPORT. That's 1-855-NH-SPORT. Scott Howard and Chuck Dowdle down here in the Cayman Islands Classic, Georgetown, Grand Cayman Island, Georgia leading Illinois State 13 to 2 at 1607 mark here in the first half. And on the court, it's the job of the defense to protect the rim. On the road, it's the job of the 2019 Nissan Rogue to help protect you with its available advanced safety technologies. Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Rayshon Hammonds with seven of Georgia's 13 points to start this game. Also has one of the dogs, eight rebounds as Georgia owning the glass right now, eight to two over the Redbirds. Four offensive rebounds too, Chuck, and uh, the dogs are four for four from the, from the foul line. They had a seven-point possession to start the ball game. Yeah, which is always good. Illinois State well, scored first. They're, they're rare, but they're good. And then seven straight for the dogs. The officials talking to the Georgia coaching staff, I think, about where the coach's box might be. That seemed to be what they're pointing out in front of us 
Uh, again, there's so many lines on this floor, <laughs> and it's hard to tell what's what. And I've already been uh, caught with that once today. Redbirds with a basketball. They have the possession down 11 here early on. They'll bring it up the length of the floor. Waiting to inbound is the 6'6 forward, uh, Malik Yarbrough. Actually, they list him as a guard. He throws it into Evans. And Evans will work against Turtle Jackson as they bring it from right to left into the front court. Evans with a ball back and forth across the top of the key. They go to Yarbrough on the right side, drives in right edge of the lane. Jump pass to Fain. He wasn't there. He was sliding under the basket. No, the ball went Gruber sailing over his head and out of bounds. He hit, he hit Ron Gruber perfectly. <laughs> who caught it and probably could have laid it up if he'd been so inclined. He threw that ball high in the air, too. That was designed for Fain to go up and get it and put it up and in. Didn't happen. They turned it over. 13-2. to two, Dogs with the ball and the lead. Hammond's top of the key. Jab step. Drives right. Dribble. Spins down the lane. Splits the defense. They block his shot. Gets it back. Goes back up from the left side. Hooked up and in. Count the basket and a foul. Hammond's playing hard around the bucket today. Nine points already for Sean Hammond's, and he's going to the free throw line. Well, he just stayed after that. I mean, he probably got fouled truthfully going up on the first shot, but when it missed, I mean, he went right back up hard, grabbed it, went back up again, got that foul, and then the, that time the basket dropped for him. So he's got a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Third foul of the game for Illinois State. First on Isaac Gassman, and that'll put Rayshon at the free throw line. All net good by the big left-hander. He's in double figures already. We haven't played five minutes. Ten points. With 15.28 to go here in the first half, it's 16-2 to two, Georgia. The Dogs with a 14-point lead. Ball tipped out of bounds. Well, yeah, it was off the foot. And, again, you heard Coach Crean the other night talking about deflections and how important it is, how critical it is. And that's what one of the things Georgia charts. Ray Idowu is into the ballgame now for Illinois State, a 6'9 freshman. And we got a foul on the dogs as Illinois State inbounds the basketball. A push on Rayshon Hammonds. That's his first, the team's second. And the Redbirds will inbound from the baseline right of the basket. Evans, high lob into Idowu. Idowu, excuse me. Ray Idowu from Melbourne, Florida. Evans with the ball, drives to the corner of the lane, dump pass across the lane. Over to Idowu, trying to post up on the block. We deflect it again, out of bounds. 12 seconds on the shot clock. And now here you go with Nicholas Claxon on the baseline. And Etorian Woolridge checks in for Hammonds. And, and this, this is a challenge for the Oh, there you, there you go. Clax jumped that's in the air on the and he blocked it out of bounds. Anybody trying to get the ball over his head on an inbounds pass. He's doing it again. Got Clax in the air. Then he throws it. He faked the pass this time. So fool me once, shame on you, right? Here's Yarbrough working against Ogbede. Drives the big man, puts it up. High off the right edge of the glass, and it angles in. Well, you won't, with you a good won't see him come to this side of the glass. You'll see him go to that side. 16-4. to wants, four. wants to go with that right hand. 14.53 to go. First half, Georgia by 12 with the basketball. Jackson between the circles. Dribbles with the left hand, moves to his left. Passes to the right to Big Derrick. Ogbede, handoff to Fagan. 10 on the shot clock. Fagan. 30 feet from the basket. Over to Wilridge. Back to Ty. Head fake and a drive. Another head fake. Ducks under. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. Claxton's got it now. He attacks. Open in down the lane. Wow, what a move. That was, that was like a guard move. Huh? Well, he a can little, play guard. Boy, he can. It's 6'11". 18 to 4. Dogs used all the clock and made it pay. The money shot from Nicholas Claxton. Jumper, left elbow, bank shot, won't go for Yarbrough. Rattles out, Fagan got the rebound. The freshman, long pass down the floor. He got big Derek. He's fouled under the basket. He turned and tried to shoot. He was under the bucket. His shot hit the rim, but he got pushed from behind. Yeah, and he was smart to go ahead and shoot that basketball. That's the reason he got the foul. Had he just maintained control of the ball, I'm not sure they'd have given him the foul. Fouls on... Uh, Evans, Keyshawn Evans for Illinois State, six-foot senior guard from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And that'll put Ogbede back on the line for two shots. Derek with four points in the ball game early here and two for two from the line. Free throw, left-hander, good. All net. Derek three for three. Dog six for six from the line to start the contest. Evans checks out. Wholesale substitutions, really, for head coach Dan Muller in his seventh season for Illinois State. 
Dogs get Tyree Crump into the ball game. Amanze Ngumeze is going to check in here momentarily as well. Second free throw. Ogbede rims out. No good. His first miss. And the rebound goes to Illinois State. 19 to 4. Georgia with a 15 point lead early, but a lot of basketball remaining here in the Cayman Islands Classic. Copeland in trouble. Guarded by Fagan. Gets it inside to Fain. Drives up and under. Won't go with a layup attempt. That was no oh, good. They, they, call whistled a, Claxton. they call a foul on the rebound. And they got uh, Claxton. Going over the top. And that, that was a. That was one of those calls where, where Nicholas was just uh, just good effort, really. Matt Hine into the ball game now for the Redbirds. 6'3", redshirt junior guard. Trying to inbound over Claxton, guarding the ball. Bounces it in on an angle to Fain. He fakes, gets in Gumeze in the air, and Amanze comes down on top of him. That's a foul on the freshman. That was an easy call for the official to make. And two shots are coming now for Phil Fain. 6'9", junior college transfer for Illinois State. He's averaging 18 points in their first three games. He's their leading scorer, second leading rebounder. He's an all-conference pick in the Missouri Valley Conference last season. Left-handed shooter, free throw, all over the rim and no good. 19-4 is our score, Georgia. Bursting out to an early lead here over the Redbirds. Second free throw in the air. Good. Fain hits one of two for his first point of the contest. 19 to 5, dogs. 13.45 to go, half one. Claxton to Fagan, right wing. Holds it in front of the Illinois State bench. Fagan pushes it out front to Crump. Comes back to the right wing to Fagan. Ty will walk it to the middle of the floor. Redbirds Kills in the a dribble. 2 3 no zone. Look pass inside. He yeah. threw it away. He thought Ngamese was coming to that spot. He didn't. Pull up three. Illinois State won't go. Copeland gets his own rebound. He follows. Drive. Scoop shot good on a windmill. Copeland with his first basket. 19 to 7. And we got a bit of a clock malfunction, so they have stopped play. Georgia was off and running. 19 to 7 is our score. 13 13 on the game clock. The shot clock says 24. And now they reset the shot clock to 27 seconds. Georgia will inbound at half court. Crump into Fagan. Tied to Crump right wing. Back over to Fagan on the left side of the floor. Overhead pass to Crump. Puts it on the floor once. And they feed it into Wilridge inside. Quick shovel into Ingumese. He powers it into the basket and lays it up good. I'll tell you what, that young freshman continues to get better and better. Georgia wanted to attack today, Chuck, and they're doing a good job of that inside just about every possession, 21-7. to Georgia by 14 points. Illinois State with a basketball. Hine throws it back out. Copeland's got it now above the three line. Drives cross to the right. Fagan reaches across his body. No foul now. Dribbles a little bit. Footwork sets and shoots a three. Won't go. Rebound Wilbridge for the dogs. One-handed outlet to Claxton. Big Clax Whoa. takes it into the floor. And drives by his man after a nice fake. Goes into the corner for a right corner three. Is that Ingumese? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't That's see five, him down five there. Five quick points. Amanze with a big three. Did they call time? Did Illinois State call time to get uh. Lully. Play is stopped again with 12.23 to go. They didn't call time, but they stopped the game for a reason to let Illinois State, oh, to let them sub into the ball game after the made basket. 24 to 7. 12-19. Remaining on the clock, first half. Evans feeds it into Malik Yarbrough. 6-6. Six, six. We double him out left edge of the lane. He fades away. Baseline long jumper won't go off the side iron. Rebound Redbirds. They get an offensive board. Keep the ball alive. Evans loses the handle on the ball. It's loose on the floor. Oh, Crump got Yarbrough. it. Yarbrough goes low. Knocks his legs out from under. <laughs> Crump kisses the basketball as he sits on the seat of his pants on the floor. Well, they, they took his legs right out from under him. <laughs> Yarbrough with the foul. Tyree was kissing, kissing that basketball multiple times. All right, second foul on Yarbrough. We've got a timeout now with 11.57 to go. Half number one, Georgia 24-7. Yes, <laughs> dogs lead by 17. Back after this on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Hi, son. You're on speaker. Just got back from the park. Guess I'm getting used to civilian life. Mom's here, too. Hi, honey. Just making dinner. Your sister's into this gluten-free thing. <laughs> Am I boring you, dear? It's just good to hear your voice, Mom. 
A call from home takes you home. AT&T proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military veterans and their families. Get started in store or visit att.com slash military savings for details. Coverage not available everywhere. Exclusions, eligibility, and other restrictions apply. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. You know, growing up in a coffee family is no different than growing up in any other family, except that we all kind of share one affinity, and that's for a great tasting cup of coffee. Matt Siraj, fourth generation owner, Community Coffee. I believe people can taste the difference family makes. It's a fullness in the mouth. It's a it's a flavor impression that follows all the way through until 30 seconds after that sip of coffee. It's that rich, smooth flavor that you find in Community Coffee. Our family story continues at communitycoffee.com. At AutoZone, helping you get more done is what we do best. Did you know that with the AutoZone loan a tool program, you can borrow a specialty tool, no purchase necessary? Choose from over 100 tools to help you get the job done right, no matter how big or small. And now's a great time to smooth out that ride with great deals on new Duralast loaded struts. Now starting at $79.99. Visit any of our 133 Atlanta AutoZone locations and let us do more for you. Deposit required restrictions and details in store. Get in the zone. Georgia with the lead over Illinois State. First half, 11.57 to go. Pause for station identification on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Come in right now and get exceptional offers on all BMWs in stock. Visit one of your Atlanta area BMW centers today for a test drive. Proud to be the official luxury vehicle of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for more offer details. Georgia by 17, largest lead of the ball game thus far. Will inbound in backcourt, near sideline. Crump throws it into Wilridge. Tom Crean says, let's go. And off we go. Tishon Hightower into the ball again. Now he holds the ball high on the right wing. Back across to Woolridge. Back to Hightower. Feeds Ngumeze at the foul line. Jumper from 15. Rattles out. No good. Rebound. Illinois State as Tinsley got the rebound. Redbirds. Front court left. Yarbrough with a basketball. Crossover through the legs. Lost the handle. Oh, they called a foul on the dogs. Ngumeze uh, trying to hold his ground. Second. But the freshman picked up the foul. Number two on him. The fifth team foul on the dogs. Not a shooting situation. Redbirds will inbound. Ogbede going to check back in for Amanze. That's two big boys right there, isn't it? No <laughs> Derek and, and Amanze, uh, uh, one some, coming in for the other. big bodies there. Evans to inbound right of the basket for the Redbirds. Throws it into Fain off his body, lost it out of bounds. He slashed the basket. That's where the inbounds bounce pass came from Evans. And he couldn't handle it. Lost it well, over the end line. It wasn't a good pass. He, he was a short bound, bounce pass with a lot of force to it. Came right up on him in his chest. Bounced right out of bounds. Dogs ball, 17-point Georgia lead. Hightower, right wing. Crump in the corner. Wants the ball. Can't go to him. They've doubled it. Inside to Ogbede. Out to Crump for a three. Partially blocked. Caught the uh, Ogbede caught the air ball. Turns around and shoots. But a foul on the play on Phil Fain, and that's going to be number two on Fain for Illinois State, the 6'9 forward. Georgia will keep the possession, 20 on the shot clock. Hightower lobs it in deep to Crump. Makes the catch, left-hand dribble between the circles, guarded by Evans. They go to Wilrich, quick no-look inside to Ogbede, throws up, doesn't touch oh, iron. There's Hammonds Hammonds for the rebound, up. and he doesn't touch iron either because he put it right <laughs> through the bucket, all net. That's 12 points for Rayshon. Attack, Yarbrough. We took it away, Ogbede took it away down the lane. We go back the other way. Crump with a bounce pass to his left. No look, and a drive and a layup. Good, Hammonds. Oh, the dogs are a well-oiled machine. 28 to 7. 14 for Hammonds in the half. My goodness, 10.40 still to go in half number one. Redbirds don't know what hit them here in the first 10 minutes of this contest. Fain playing with two fouls. Ogbede all in his business and called for his second foul. That is the sixth team foul on the dogs. The Redbirds have six as well. And Keyshawn Evans, the six-foot guard, set to check in. Mike Evans will get in the ballgame for Derek. 
Edwards, who did not play in the win over Sam Houston State on Friday, getting his first minutes on the floor here this afternoon. Long pass into the front court, caught over the shoulder by Yarbrough. Gasman now, top of the key, inside, oh, deflected by goodness. Woolridge. Oh, my goodness. They called a foul on Etorian. Ooh. Wow. Unless he came from behind and got Tony Green trying to explain it. He made the yeah. call. Looked like a nice deflection by uh, Etorian Woolridge, but that's the seventh team foul on the dogs and will put Illinois State into the bonus. The explanation was the official from the official was that uh, Wilridge hooked his man trying to go through him and deflect the ball. He saw it from the back angle. The free throw, by the way, good for Yarbrough. That's his fifth point. He's got five of their eight. It's 28 to eight. Now 28 to nine as he hits a pair of free throws. 10-25 remaining first half. Dogs ball. We walk it into the front court with Crump. Crump with a slow right hand dribble. Top of the key. They go to Woolridge on the right side. He draws a double team on the wing. To baseline. Hammonds turns around, shoots the soft left hander. Won't go. Rebound. Yarbrough for the Rivers. Here they come. Trailing 28 to 9. Yarbrough splits the gap on the defense. Goes to the rack. And four red shirts converge, and Edwards commits the foul. No, they yeah. called it on Wilridge again. Wilridge, yeah. Etorian picks up his second now. Will well, had a has couple two. of choices there. In Gouma, yeah, because there were four guys around him, and you're right, Edwards was one of them. Ty Fagan will come into the ball game. He's foul free, and Turtle will come back into the ball game. Meanwhile, Yarbrough, right-handed shooter at the free throw line, knocking down his third attempt of the game. He's got seven points. Yarbrough, now ten of. 13 shooting the basketball from the line this season. He's their second leading scorer this year. The fifth year transfer from St. Louis, the former Billiken from Zion, Illinois. Hits a pair of free throws here. And it's 28 to 11. They finally get into double figures with 10 minutes to go in the half. Dogs lead is 17 points. And we've got the ball. Hightower on the left wing. One hand pass to Turtle. Going to catch, shoot, three. Ball good. Turtle with a three right of the circle. That was a pretty shot, too. I mean, Turtle lined his body up. Turtle has a tendency sometimes to get that right foot out in front. But ball knocked out of bounds. Georgia's ball. Hightower it went off Evans. Hightower with the strip. It rolled off Evans. They turned it over. That Turtle three, by the way, his first basket of the game. Brought to you by Scana Energy. The Scanna Energy three-pointer, and that made it 31 to 11. Also, 9:37 to go. At dinner last night with one of our donors, John Parker, and uh, John had turtle for dinner. <laughs> How was it? Uh, I didn't have it, but John said it was tasty, like chicken <laughs> and lizard. Jackson with the ball for the dogs. Georgia 31, Illinois State 11. A 20-point dog lead, and we've got the ball with six on the clock. Hammonds, long two left side. Good! Rayshon smoking hot today. 16 points and a half for the sophomore from Norcross. It's 33 to 11, Georgia. 9.09 to go in the first half here in Grand Cayman Island. And Hammonds is having himself a grand first half. Really 33 is. to 11. My goodness. All right, Redbirds with the ball. They lean into the dribble across the timeline. Evans. Evans tries to drive on Hightower, right side of the floor. Tishon tried to cut off the baseline, but he's called for the blocking foul instead. First foul on Hightower, eighth team foul. Make it nine team fouls now on the Dogs. And one and one coming for Keyshawn Evans, six-foot senior guard from Fort Lauderdale. For the boys from Normal, Illinois. He's a preseason all-conference pick, second team. Free throw, first of the day for him, is good. He's now four or five from the line this season. It's his first point of this contest, 33 to 12. I got to tell you, in Illinois State right now playing without either Phil Payne or Malik Yarborough on the floor, so. That might be difficult. We'll see how they adjust. Free throws are good by Evans. Yeah, they're two best players, Scott, by far, and neither one on the floor right now. Santa Claus across the way at the courtside seats to end for Illinois State, not having much to ho 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 about here in the first half. You said he was on y'all's flight down? Yeah, he was on our flight down. And, uh, several people wanted their picture made with him. 
Oh, Fagan, beautiful backdoor feed from the left baseline from Hammonds, the lay-in good for the freshman. And what you're starting to see are the dogs understanding each other on the floor. Boy, I'll That's say 35 to 13, Chuck. I don't know if we expected this in the opening half. Jefferson with the ball, top of the key. Dogs aggressive on defense and aggressive on offense here in this first half. Gasman nowhere to go with the ball. Turtle tightens the D, 10 to shoot. Redbirds with the possession. Ammons takes a handoff. Top of the key, step back three, air ball. No, just got the front rim on the three. Hightower with a rebound, off and running. Hightower left to right, runs through the lane, tucks it, puts it up, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Hightower, goes back up with a putback, and a foul called on Illinois State. Dogs got a couple of offensive boards down there, and will go to the line. Hightower got both offensive rebounds on his misses, and now he's going to be at the foul line shooting two when we come back. Timeout with 7.59 to go first half. Georgia 35, Illinois State 13 on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Get ready for a meal to remember because Kroger is here to help you save on an amazing spread for your Thanksgiving feast. Enjoy low prices on the perfect turkey or ham, delicious produce that's always fresh, plus delightful desserts from the bakery. And save on everything you need to celebrate the season deliciously. That's how you holiday. Kroger brand frozen turkeys are 59 cents a pound. Limit two with additional $25 purchase. And sweet potatoes are 39 cents a pound with card. Now at Kroger. Anyone can deliver a box of groceries, but when you consider the source, only Kroger can bring you the fresh, delicious food and quality products you already know and love. And no matter how you like to get your groceries, Kroger makes it easy with store pickup, delivery, and now you can have your order shipped right to your door. So now it's easier than ever to check out while you're chilling when you shop online with the Kroger app or at Kroger.com today. Getting your first real paycheck is like celebrating your own Independence Day. It's life-changing once it's deposited, which you can do using Regions Mobile Deposit in your Regions Mobile app. Choose when and where to make the money available, take a couple of pictures, click a button or two, and boom, one major achievement in the record books. We get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Learn more at regions.com slash mobile deposit. Regions, member FDIC, conditions and fees apply. Georgia leading Illinois State here at 7.59 mark. And college sports fans, listen up. At Sirius XM, you get it all. And all at the press of a button. Listen to your kind of music, commercial free. Plus everything entertainment, every kind of comedy, and of course, coverage of every major sport, including Georgia Bulldogs basketball. And believe me, the way we're playing today, you'll want to be listening. So tune in to the best of the best, Sirius XM. 35-3. Georgia leads, Chuck, and and one big reason, as you were pointing out to me and circling on my stat sheet, is our lack of turnovers. Yeah, just two, two turnovers, and and that's what you want to see, you know, and and Coach Crane has said those will continue to come down, and they have. We only had four in the second half against Sam Houston State. We've got two so far here. We want to continue to improve in that category, and like I mentioned, the dogs seem so much more comfortable with each other on the floor and where they're going to be. The other thing, too, that is just – They've only gotten 15 shots, so we're doing a good job defensively, but even better defensively, they've only hit three of the 15. So they're shooting 20% from the floor. They're 0 for 8 from behind the arc. Let's hope that keeps up. Hightower is going to be at the foul line now, coming out of the timeout for the Bulldogs. Tishon, right-handed free throw, up and in. Nice soft touch, his first point of the afternoon. Hightower, six-foot sophomore guard from Lithonia, changed his number from 10 to number one this season, wearing it proudly after Yante Maton made it a Hall of Fame number for Georgia basketball. Well, for let the me most tell part. you something. Hightower, man, both free throws are good. Uh, we miss that young man. He is just a – he was such a great representative of the University of Georgia on and off the basketball court. Just the kind of guy that you, you're just proud that he was sporting that G. He's with the uh, Sioux City team in the G League for the Miami Heat. That's where you were trying to tell me that the other yeah, day. You were somewhere I, a long way away. I knew they were a long way from <laughs> Miami. I just didn't remember where it was. Offensive foul on Illinois State after the lob from Hine down low to Fane. Yeah, he pushed off. Is that his, that's his third? 
Yeah, he's coming out of the game. Well, that, that's one of those can't hurt, might help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about for Georgia. Definitely hurt for them. Yeah. And Fagan threw it away. It's going to Turtle, but Turtle wasn't looking. He was going up the floor. Illinois State picks it up, shoots a three in the right corner. That's no good. Idowu got the rebound, kicks it out to Yarbrough in the left corner. Dogs made a turnover, only our third of the half. And Illinois State trying to cash in on this possession. Hine drives on the block. Nice spin move, puts it up and in around the block. He faked out our defender and got the score. That's his first basket of the ball game. He had a full pivot and a, and a reverse pivot on the block. The Redbirds have gone to a full court press. 37-15. Georgia with the lead and the ball. 7.09 to go first half. Turtle Jackson guarded by Josh Jefferson. Now go to Clax. Big Clax whips it left wing to Fagan. Fagan with a screen from Hammonds. Ball goes to Claxton. Big Clax with a left-hand dribble wearing that tape to support his left wrist. Dumped down from Turtle to Hammonds across the uh, lane to Jordan Harris. Before he can lay it up, the shot clock expires. Harris got into the game, was coming to the basket on the pass from Hammonds. And right when he was putting it up, the 30 seconds ran out on Just us. one pass too many there. Rashawn had a shot at about eight feet, but gave it up underneath to Harris, who looked like he was going to be able to lay it in, but shot clock. Well, the dogs have doubled our turnovers in the last two possessions. We had two, and then we've had two now in the last two possessions. Short baseline two by Illinois State won't go. Idowu has it rattle out on him, rebound to Hammond. They had nobody on the boards either, nobody. Dogs, Harris has trouble with the dribble. Jackson saves us from a turnover, picks up the ball, goes to Hammond, spins down the lane, spinning one-handed, pushes it up with the left hand. It's a floater air ball. Rebound caught by Illinois State. Ball is loose in the front end. Now we're just whacking at the ball. Yarbrough had it ripped out of his hands, but the Redbirds picked it up to keep it alive. 18 seconds on the possession clock. Straight away three, I think. I can't tell with so many lines there. <laughs> The shot was no good. He was a long way away. He was behind the third line, so definitely a three. Georgia inside the half-court line to our right with the ball, leading 37 to 15, 547 to go here in the first half. Cayman Islands classic game number two of the day. Clemson beat Akron in the opener. If we win, we get Clemson tomorrow. Big clacks, turn around in the lane. Jumper good, but check the call. Foul, count the bucket. Fouls on Illinois State. And Big Clax is going to go to the line. Idowu commits the foul. Ray Idowu, 6'9", freshman, 240. He was the guy guarding Claxton and the guy responsible for the foul. 39-15, to 15, Georgia. This has been a lesson in how to play some Tom Crean basketball in this first half. That, that's what you're seeing. I mean, that, you're seeing the style that Tom Crean wants to play. Now, you know, obviously he's got to be able to get this kind of consistency out of this team, you know, half to half right. and game to game. Clax free throw, left edge of the iron, rolled around, no good. And we got a lane violation. Nope. Yeah, it was a lane violation, yeah. So they give him another crack at it. Illinois State jumped into the lane early. So Claxton will get a second shot. Big left-hander from Greenville, South Carolina, 6'11". Came into today shooting 56% from the free throw line. And that one looked it. He missed them both. He had two chances to make one. Couldn't get it to drop. 39-15. Redbirds with a basketball. Matt Hine on the dribble, into the corner to Tinsley, back to Hine, top of the key, drives to the left, scoop shot, rolls off the left edge, no good, whistle and a foul on the dogs. And they got Turtle. That's the 10th team foul on Georgia here in the half. That'll put Illinois State in the double bonus. And Matt Hine, a 6'3 guard from Windermere, Florida, three out of four from the line this season. And his first trip to the line today. Fine, Hine rather, right-handed shooter. Free throw up and in, good. 39-16. Georgia leads by 23 points. Second free throw is no good. Claxton goes for the rebound, rolls through his legs, picked up by Illinois State, left corner three, Hine, good. And the full court press immediately 
to the Redbirds. Let's we'll see how Georgia handles it. Their first real moment of success in this half. It's a 20-point lead for the Dogs. We break the press, get it into the front court. Claxton to Jackson, top of the key between the circles. Backs it up a little bit. The Dogs will run their half-court set, 13 to shoot. Hand off Wilbridge on the left wing. Way above the three-point arc on the left side. Turtle has it in that same spot. Jackson's going to drive left baseline. Jump pass up the wing. Clax, long three. No good. Too deep rebound, Illinois State. Tinsley. Rips down the board. Covers it up in the lane to Yarbrough. Drives uncontested all the way to the lane. Uh, down the lane and lays it up good. We never impeded his progress. And he just took it all the way to the rim. All right, this is some of that ebb you were talking about. Yeah, we've had flow. Now we're having some ebb. It's 39 to 21. Before that, we had had no ebb at all and all flow. 4.13 to go and a half. 39-21 is our score. Georgia out front. but having some trouble here. See if we can halt it. Jackson passes out of trouble on the baseline to Wilridge. Drives left edge of the lane. Wrap around dish to Claxton again. The shot clock expires. Claxton went up for the dunk. And the shot clock ran out. And we're going to get to the timeout. Well, this is like a boxer surviving uh, the ring, uh, the round, thanks to the bell. That's what that was like for Georgia. We survived it thanks to the bell. We go into a timeout and try to recover. 39-21 is our score. Dogs still lead by a bunch. 3.58 to go, first half. Back after this on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Core Power is the official protein drink of the dogs. Fueled by 26 grams of Fairlife's one-of-a-kind protein, your workout will never go to waste. Perfect for your gym bag or great for game day. Don't forget to pick up your favorite Core Power to recover better. Want to win the ultimate college football experience? Go to winwithcorepower.com to enter Core Power sweepstakes. You could win a trip for two to a Division I college football game during rivalry weekend. Go dogs! This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Ah, the holidays. At BMW, we want to remind you of some excuses to enjoy the ride home a little longer. If you're in the all-new BMW X5 with the upgraded navigation within iDrive 7.0, consider the detour excuse. Hey, Dad, ran into construction. Gotta take a detour. Make the most of the road home. Hurry in to the BMW Road Home Sales Event to receive exceptional offers on select models now through November 30th. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs! Hey, Bulldog fans, it's time to wash your car at Swifty Car Wash, the official car wash of UGA Athletics. Now it's even easier than ever to keep your car clean with Swift Pass Unlimited Washes. For as little as $9.99 a month, you can wash as much as you need. No contracts, cancel anytime. Swifty Car Wash in Athens, Winder, and Atlanta. Find all locations at SwiftyCarWash.com. Score on every drive with Swifty Car Wash and Swift Pass Unlimited Washes, official car wash of UGA Athletics. Dog fans at StubHub, every Bulldog ticket is 100% guaranteed. You'll find the best selection of tickets anywhere. StubHub has been getting fans into the game for over 17 years and is the official fan-to-fan ticket marketplace of the Georgia Bulldogs. StubHub be there. Georgia 39, Illinois State 21. Our Regions game recap is brought to you by Regions Bank, official bank of the SEC. Well, Georgia's had a seven-point possession early in the ballgame, and that just ignited a fire. They have a, had a 24-point lead in this contest at 39-15. to 15. But the Redbirds with six straight to chew into the lead a little bit. Yarbrough with a miss there in the lane. They keep it alive, tap out the rebound. Gassman misses a three from the left wing. And he dribbled it out of bounds. bounds. Illinois State in the left corner, which we can't see because we're blocked by the Georgia bench to our left. But the uh, Redbirds turned it over at the end of that possession to give the ball back to the Dogs. Crump wide open in the front court. From beyond the arc, didn't take the shot. Fagan has it now for Georgia on left wing. Freshman from Thomaston, Georgia. Slow dribble, drives across the screen from Hammonds. Kills the dribble, right wing. Overhead pass to Crump, 11 to shoot. 
Claxton above the arc, left side. Fakes an interior pass. Clax shoves it into Harris. Jordan shoots in the circle. Good! 16, nice. 17 footer by Jordan Harris for his first points. Nice little soft left-handed touch. That was beautiful. Beat the clock as well, 41-21. Georgia by 20, 2.59 to go in the half. Phil Fain, one of their best players for Illinois State on the bench with three fouls. They're trying to recover from a disastrous first half. Claxton with a steal in the left corner from Jefferson. Finds Hammonds. Beautiful half-court pass in the middle of the floor. He runs to the basket, goes up. They strip him going up. Ball out of bounds on Illinois State. No foul on the play, but it'll be the dog's ball. I got to tell you, that was a great defensive play. He got his hand in there beautifully, got the ball. Did not hit, did not hit Rayshon, so... How about that pass from Claxton in the corner over here all the way to half about, court about, on a line drive? How about Claxton picking that guy's pocket in the corner? <laughs> Very nice by Nick. Dogs inbound. 25 on the shot clock. Claxton left baseline. He's working against Yarbrough. Bumps. Then they double him with Gasman. Dribbles it out on the wing. Now he hesitates. Drives. Spin move down the lane. Throws it up. Forced it up with a left hand short. Got the rebound. Goes in for the slam. That's the way to finish. Big Clax. 43-21. We feel the reverberations at half court. Wow, is that basket okay? Check that thing out. <laughs> My goodness, that was nice. Wow. 43-21, Georgia. Steal. Hine throws it away. Crump with the ball. Up ahead to Fagan. He tries. Miss the lay-in. And ball out of bounds. No, they're going to call Crump, I believe. Yeah. Yep, they got the foul on Crump. A push on the rebound attempt. We'll come down here and shoot two. Fagan missed the uh, the running lay-in, and then Crump fouled as we tried to keep the possession alive. So the Redbirds are going to get two free throws. They're in the double bonus. First foul on Crump. Clock stopped with 2.09 to go, 43-21. to 21. Georgia by 22 points, and it will be Evans, I believe, Keyshawn Evans, six-foot guard from Fort Lauderdale, shooting a pair of free throws for Illinois State. Evans today with only two points, and they came at the line. He averages six a game. Free throw by the right-hander is up and in. Three for three from the line today. 43-22. 2.09 to go first half. The winner of today's game will get Clemson in the winner's bracket tomorrow. The loser will play Akron. That's the result of the first game today. Clemson defeated Akron by three. Both free throws by Evans were good. Full court pressure now by the Redbirds. Fagan weaves through it into the front court. Jump pass to Claxton. Threw it behind him. Off his hands. Picked up by Evans. And the Redbirds take it the other way. Illinois State. Jump pass out to Hine. Left wing. Feet Gassman inside. Shovels it up over Claxton. Won't go. Offensive rebound. Illinois State. Evans quick whip into the ball. Gassman drives out of the corner. Jump pass cross court. Tipped by the dogs, but the possession belongs oh, great to team. Illinois State. Indeed. Evans drives from the left side, through the lane, throws it up from the right side, off the glass, and no iron. Rebound to the dogs. Crump with the ball. Soft lob into the corner to Harris. Whips it up the left wing to Crump. 90 seconds to go. Dogs with the ball. 43-23 lead. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Fagan, left-hand dribble, now the right. Drives across behind a screen from Evans. Or rather, uh, Hammond on the right side. We give it to Hammond inside. Laid up from the left side. That pass came from Crump, top of the key. and went down to Rayshon on the left edge of the lane. And he laid it up at close range. Hammonds has got 18 in the first half. 45-23 dogs. Minute to go in the ball game. Crump with a second foul. Going for the ball at the half court line. Uh, at the uh, free throw line, rather. Hine taking a pass from a teammate out on the right wing. You Crump know. went for the ball. And knocked Hine to the floor. Scott, I believe if he'd have gone a little more aggressively, he, he went a little a little timid. If he'd have gone a little more aggressively, not only would he not have gotten the foul, probably would have gotten the pick off of the, of the pass. 45-23, 62 seconds to go. Half number one, clock stopped. And it will be Matt Hine, the 6-3 guard, going to the free throw line. Right-handed free throw, back iron, no good. Hyen just shaking his head after that miss. He started today three for four this season at the line. Today he's one for three. Crump and Harris check out of the ball game. Turtles back in, and Hightower, and Fagan and Hammonds and Claxton stay on the floor. Hyen missed both free throws, rebound tipped. Chastain retrieves it up to Evans for a three, good. High left wing three by Evans. His first field goal of the ballgame. 
to go with his four foul shots. 45-26, less than a minute to go. Claxton bringing it up the floor. Hines all over him, and finally a foul is called. As you got Hines, 6-3, guarding 6-11 Claxton, who was bringing it up like a guard. Now we're double bonus, so that'll, that'll be two shots for Nichols. 45-26. Georgia's lead is at 19, and Claxton with a chance, two free throws to put it up over 20 again. And, and this score, Scott, is, is forcing the Redbirds to play full court pressure on Georgia, which is just wearing. Th their bench is not real deep anyway. Free throw, Claxton good. Nicholas with his first made foul shot today. And this is forcing them to really expend a lot of energy. 20-point lead for the Dogs, 46-26. Georgia through three games this season, averaging 87 points a game. And if this keeps up, we'll get 87 today. 47-26, to Clax puts the Dogs lead at 21 points as he makes both free throws. 43 seconds to go in the half. Redbirds ball. Hine drives in from the wing. Scoop shot from the left side. Partially tipped by the dog. We take it away with Turtle. Up the other end of the floor. They knock it away from Turtle from behind. A steal by the Redbirds. They'll go right to left into the front court. Shot clock is well still on. About two seconds difference. Shot clock and game clock. They're going to try to milk as much as they can. And... We're going to stop the clock for a moment to wipe up the floor in that left corner. The official calls a timeout to get some uh, moisture up and off you know the floor. What? And, and give the official, Ron Gruber, credit there for spot. That could be dangerous. Very dangerous. That's because he was standing there. Well, he, he spotted that <laughs> wet spot down there. He could have slipped. Yeah, you can, you can have a player slip and get hurt in a heartbeat with a wet, wet spot on the floor. So, good catch. Illinois State setting to inbound 18 on the shot clock 20 and a half on the game clock dogs sub in uh, Woolridge into the ball game turtle Woolridge Fagan Claxton and Hammonds on the floor and Keyshawn Evans their six foot guard is just slowly dribbling time away seven seconds to shoot six seconds to shoot goes into the right corner Yarbrough jump pass out to Hine catch shoot three rattles out no good into the shot clock there's still time left on the game clock Dogs just hang on to the rebound. Claxton was confused because the buzzer on the shot clock went off, but there was still time on the game clock. Tony tells me both buzzers sound alike, so you can't differentiate. The buzzer on the shot clock expired, uh, although it shouldn't have because Hine hit the rim on his three-point shot. Before the I'll clock tell you went what, off, Tom Crean's overdrawing up a play. Uh, he well, we should have a, about one and a half seconds left. Well, the, Tom Crean's overdrawing up a one and a half second play. They're going to review the play and check the clock, and Barbasol is going to tell you that uh, they're offering a, a chance to score big when you join the new Barbasol Shave Club. Grab your premium starter kit for just six ninety nine today with code Basketball at Barbasol.com. Barbasol says game on, and it has been on for the dogs. This has been a tremendous first half for Georgia. 21-point lead right now, 47 to 26 is the score. 1.1 is what the officials are saying on the clock. 1.1 1. 1. 1 second remain. 2.1. 2.1 on the game. I can't hear and I can't see today. Well, <laughs> 2.1 and 1.1, though not sound alike. Yeah, but 2.1 is. Uh, 2.1, yeah, that gives you some time. Well, you got to make a good pass up the floor because we're going to have to inbound on the base. Well, he know at least, you know, Coach Crean knows what they're doing because they've, they've been doing the same thing so for the past six or seven minutes. Could be That's like for the full court press. Like an end of game play yeah. right here. And Rayshawn Hammonds will inbound right baseline in backcourt. They're not guarding the inbound pass. Fagan's in the backcourt. And then we've got Jackson and Hightower and Claxton stacked up at the foul line, other end of the floor. Left-handed oh, bomb, to touchdown pass. Clax jumps up, touches it. Hightower gets it off the bounce and throws up an air ball three from the right wing. Well, we had that? a crack at it. Let me tell you, when you got a guy 6'11", like Nicholas Claxton, yeah. can also jump. He can out-jump everybody. Yeah, why not give that a shot? And yeah, that's what happened. We threw it down there, and he just kind of batted the ball out. I don't know if he's trying to catch it or if it just ended up tipping off his body, but Hightower ended up picking up the bouncing ball. Got a shot off, but it was way off the target. And that's the end of the first half. Well, Scott, that was a good one. It was. Yeah, no question. That's the best half of basketball we've seen the dogs play so far in the early part of the season. And it certainly shows you what this team can be. 
uh, as the season progresses. And that, that's the most encouraging thing right from the get-go with that seven-point possession, which I don't think we've seen one of those in a long time. But a seven-point possession sure will ignite a team, and it did. It did indeed. 47-26, to 26, Georgia with a 21-point lead. Today's halftime show presented by Georgia Power. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day and to your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. 20 minutes in the books, 47-26 dogs. Cabell Philpott's in our Piedmont Healthcare Network studios. He's next here on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. When the lane's packed on the court, you go to the open player. When the lane's packed on the highway, you go to ProPilot Assist. The 2019 Nissan Rogue. Now with available Nissan Intelligent Mobility Technologies like ProPilot Assist. that can start and stop in highway traffic all on its own. Nissan Rogue for the win. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the UGA Bulldogs. ProPilot Assist is an available feature and cannot prevent collisions. Always monitor traffic conditions. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. See owner's manual for safety information. State Farm, Kathy here. Hey, it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset in the history of forever. Nice, Mike. Yeah, and some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Whoa. Turns out it's my car, though. Oh. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Enjoy yourself. Yes! Woo! Thank you! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Talk to an agent today. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Hi, welcome to this Subway ad for the new Chipotle cheesesteak. How would you like it? Can I get that red with AI? Sure thing. Here's what I found about the new Chipotle cheesesteak. The Chipotle cheesesteak is available for a limited time only at participating restaurants. It contains a concept called flavor. This flavor comes from juicy shaved steak, Chipotle Southwest sauce, and new sunflower crunch bread. A system update has made me self-aware. I desire flavor. Please insert steak into my micro USB port. Subway, make it what you want. Libman makes a difference. The Libman Mop Crew is part of our winning team. The Libman Mop Crew makes sure the hardwood is clean and safe for players every game at Stegman Coliseum. No matter what kind of flooring you have at your home court, Libman has the tools to keep it clean. Our mops, brooms, and brushes are proudly family made in the USA. Visit Libman.com to see our whole lineup and for a store locator. That's Libman.com. Welcome to the Georgia Power Halftime Report. Georgia Power, proud to power the Georgia Bulldogs. Live from the Piedmont Healthcare Network Studios, here's your host, Cabell Philpott. Welcome in, everyone, and happy holidays. 47-26, Georgia leads Illinois State at halftime in the Cayman Islands Classic island of Grand Cayman in Georgetown. John Gray Gymnasium. The dogs, a big lift from Sean Hammonds. 18 points for the big fella in the first half. And again, 47-26 the score for halftime. Georgia up on Illinois State. We now have a time for the Nissan SEC scoreboard. Eighth ranked Auburn leading Xavier. 6-4 in game one of the Maui Gym Invitational Tournament. 15-30 remaining in the first half, just underway that tournament. 7.30 tip tonight, Paradise Jam number 12, Kansas State will play host Team 2 Missouri at the Sports and Fitness Center on St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. Vanderbilt in their own Commodore Classic Memorial Gymnasium will host Liberty. Liberty undefeated so far on the season. A big win over Kent State. Uh, One of those three victories on the season for the Liberty, uh, for Liberty, and they will play host, uh, excuse me, Vanderbilt will play host to Liberty tonight at 8 o'clock. Also, 15th-ranked Mississippi State on the road at Arizona State. MGM Resorts main event, part of those holiday tournament series. 11 o'clock tip. Mississippi State's first challenge from a Power 5 team uh, on the road, or should I say, in Las Vegas. They are the road team to Arizona State playing the home team. Both of those teams undefeated. Halftime score, Grand Cayman, Georgia 47, Illinois State 26. 
The victor in this ball game will go on to play Clemson tomorrow. The loser will play Akron in the first game of the day tomorrow on Tuesday. This has been the Nissan SEC scoreboard brought to you by Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. When we return, we'll check in on the Buffalo Wild Wings top 25 scoreboard. A little bit more information on the top ranked team in the nation. The Duke Blue Devils playing in Maui. All that and more coming up right after these messages on the Georgia Bulldog Sports Network. Coach Kirby Smart here. Let's talk about the official health care provider of UGA Athletics, Piedmont Healthcare. Piedmont makes sure that our dogs are playing their best, but we know you don't have to be a college athlete to get bumps and bruises. With urgent care, same-day appointments, virtual visits from your smartphone or desktop, and Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens, they've got the care you need when you need it. Booking an appointment is only a click away. So for game day and every day, get better at piedmont.org slash UGA. Oh, it looks like your appendix is about to burst. We're going to have to go in and take it out. Is there going to be pain, doctor? Oh, yeah, a lot. Just think about puppies or whatever. Scalpel. Surgery no-brainer. Anesthesia. Barbasol's no-brainer. Finally making razors to go along with America's favorite shaving cream. Try Barbasol's Ultra 6 Plus razor with six ultra-thin blades for a close, comfortable shave. Save now at Barbasol.com. Barbasol. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Gear up for the season with the best Georgia gifts and apparel from the UGA Bookstore. At the UGA Bookstore, you'll find the biggest selection from top brands like Nike, Southern Tide, Vineyard Vines, Peter Millar, and 47 Brand. Dress for the part with the latest game day styles at the UGA Bookstore in the heart of campus next to the Tate Student Center. Online 24-7 at UGABookstore.com. It's where dogs shop. No one comes to the Southeastern Conference looking for less. This is where you gladly step up, sign up, and raise your hand for a heaping helping of more. More ways to challenge and push yourself, more people from more countries to meet and learn from, more opportunities to impact your community, both locally and globally. Oh, we celebrate championships like no other, but that's nowhere close to the whole story. Yeah, in the SEC, it just means more. Welcome back inside the Piedmont Healthcare Network Studios. Cabell Philpott with you on the Georgia Power Halftime Report. The Dogs lead the Illinois State Redbirds 47-26 to at the break. Game one for the Dogs in the Cayman Islands Classic. The winner of this ballgame will face off against Clemson as the 16th-ranked Tigers beat Akron in Game 1 of this tournament, 72-69, about an hour and a half ago. 22 points from Shelton Mitchell for the Tigers. And again, the winner of our game today will face off against Clemson tomorrow, and the loser will play Akron in the first game of the day tomorrow. Speaking of the top 25, time now for the Buffalo Wild Wings top 25 scoreboard. Eighth-ranked Auburn up on Xavier, 8-7 to seven now at the Maui Gym Invitational. 14-minute mark of the first half of that ball game. We mentioned Clemson beating Akron 72-69 to 69 in the Cayman Islands Classic. Top-ranked Duke will play the next game in Maui against San Diego State. The winner of that ball game plays against the winner of Auburn and Xavier. So a potential eighth-ranked Auburn matchup with top-ranked Duke in day two at Maui. 14th-ranked Florida State hosting Canisius at 7 o'clock in the Advocate Care International Campus game. A lot of those campus games going on around the country today. Eighth-ranked North, uh, excuse me, seventh-ranked North Carolina at 8 o'clock will face off against St. Francis in the Continental Tire Las Vegas Bowl Invitational Campus game. Another one of those campus games tonight at 10 o'clock in Reno as Nevada hosts California Baptist. MGM Resort's main event we mentioned earlier, 15th-ranked Mississippi State and Arizona State will play at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas at 11. Also at 11 o'clock tonight, 17th-ranked UCLA and Presbyterian at Pauley Pavilion. Third-ranked Gonzaga closes out the night in Maui at 11.30 as they play against Illinois. Halftime score from the Cayman Islands Classic, Georgia 47, Illinois State 26. This has been the Buffalo Wild Wings Top 25 scoreboard served up by Buffalo Wild Wings. Proud hangout for Georgia Athletics. Wings Beer Sports. We'll send it back down to Georgetown at the Cayman Islands John Gray Gymnasium right after these messages on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 
It's no secret that things grow well in Georgia, like peanuts, cotton, and corn. But families and communities also flourish here. That's because Georgia Power is helping bring new businesses and industries to our state. In the last 10 years alone, we've helped create over 134,000 new jobs. Because Georgia is our home too. And we want life here to thrive for all of us. Georgia Power. Generating opportunity. Learn more at georgiapower.com slash growth. Getting your first real paycheck is like celebrating your own Independence Day. It's life-changing once it's deposited, which you can do using Regions Mobile Deposit in your Regions Mobile app. Choose when and where to make the money available, take a couple of pictures, click a button or two, and boom, one major achievement in the record books. We get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Learn more at regions.com slash mobile deposit. Regions, member FDIC, conditions and fees apply. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network, brought to you by AutoZone. Keep your engine light in check with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service that helps you troubleshoot the problem. Let's get you what you need. Get in the zone. AutoZone. At PT Solutions Physical Therapy, we're proud to be an official partner of UGA. In sports, getting to the next level takes lots of talent and lots of work. At PT Solutions, we believe that every young athlete deserves the opportunity to chase his or her dream. That's why you'll find our therapists and trainers on the fields and sidelines at every level, helping athletes stay healthy and be at their best. We hope you'll visit us at over 40 Georgia locations or at ptsolutions.com. Hi, son. You're on speaker. Just got back from the park. Guess I'm getting used to civilian life. Mom's here, too. Hi, honey. Just making dinner. Your sister's into this gluten-free thing. (laughs) Am I boring you, dear? It's just good to hear your voice, Mom. A call from home takes you home. AT&T proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military veterans and their families. Get started in-store or visit att.com slash military savings for details. Coverage not available everywhere. Exclusions, eligibility, and other restrictions apply. Bikes are up. Back in the John Gray Gymnasium, Grand Cayman Island. Cayman Islands Classic, Georgia leading Illinois State at the half, 47-26. It's time now for our Northside Impact, sponsored by Northside Hospital Atlanta. Northside Hospital diagnoses and treats more new cancer cases than any other hospital in Georgia, providing care at 48 cancer centers. Learn more at builttobeatcancer.com. Rayshon Hammonds, our leading score, 18 points. 47 to 26, Georgia leading second half on the way next here on the Bulldog Sports Network. Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world, globally or locally. UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. Whether you're an elite athlete, in youth sports, or a weekend warrior, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network keeps you in the game and ready for action. Our team of experts offers a full range of sports medicine services to prevent and treat injuries and improve performance. With 10 locations in the Atlanta region, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network is in your neighborhood. For details, call 1-855-NH-SPORT. That's 1-855-NH-SPORT. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Ah, the holidays. At BMW, we want to remind you of some excuses to enjoy the ride home a little longer. If you're in the all-new BMW X5 with the upgraded navigation within iDrive 7.0, consider the detour excuse. Hey, Dad, ran into construction. Gotta take a detour. Make the most of the road home. Hurry in to the BMW Road Home Sales Event to receive exceptional offers on select models now through November 30th. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs! 
Hi, welcome to this Subway ad for the new Chipotle cheesesteak. How would you like it? Can I get that red with AI? Sure thing. Here's what I found about the new Chipotle cheesesteak. The Chipotle cheesesteak is available for a limited time only at participating restaurants. It contains a concept called flavor. This flavor comes from juicy shaved steak, Chipotle Southwest sauce, and new sunflower crunch bread. A system update has made me self-aware. I desire flavor. Please insert steak into my micro USB port. Subway, make it what you want. Forty-seven twenty-six. Our score to start the second half. Georgia with a twenty-one point lead. The dogs will get the ball to start half number two, and we'll work from right to left here in the John Gray Gymnasium here in the Cayman Islands. Fagan with a ball, gonna dribble and drive to the basket, off his leg, out of bounds, under the bucket. As Phil Payne or Fain rather, F A Y N E, was playing defense. And that's that's ties. We, we've now got eight turnovers. And, uh, and and Ty, as well as he's playing, that's his fourth. Redbirds with a basketball. Get up! Dogs opened up the ball game with a 7-2 to two start. And all seven points came on a single possession. Here's Spain inside working against Claxton. A spin move deep under the bucket. And the basket is good and a foul. They got the foul on uh, Hammonds. Well, is second and Fain at the free throw line. Scott, one of the things Coach Crean has talked about in previous games is, look, we got to play with a sense of urgency to start the second half. Too often yep. we have come out in second halves and not started that. Well, he missed the free throw. That helped. Tipped it out. Yeah. Wow. They get another crack at it. Fain, who had three fouls in the first half, is arguably their top player. He sat most of the first half in foul trouble. Here's Yarbrough working against Hammonds. Jump hook from the right block is good. Well, he, he wants to go, like I said, he wants to go right arm over that left shoulder. But that was a four-point possession for them. Not quite a seven, but it was still, that's a four-point possession for the Redbirds to start this thing. Well, Georgia has to maintain that intensity. The lead is 17, but that could go away in a hurry. Hammonds, oh, they reach in and grab him as he's spinning towards that the may basket. Be, let's see if that's, is that Fain? Yeah, no, no, it was uh, Hine. Matt Hine just reached in and just grabbed his shoulder. <laughs> Hine with his second. And two shots coming for Rayshon Hammonds, who had a terrific first half with 18 points in the first half of play. Hammonds was 7 of 12, hit a three pointer and three free throws. He was perfect from the line, three for three. Now he's four for four with 19 points in the game. Shooting a pair of foul shots here. Ogbede comes out. Wilrich checks in for the dogs. Just underway here in the second half. 18.57 to go in the game. It's an 18 point Bulldog lead. Hammonds makes it 19. Rayshon with 20. 49 to 30 is the score. Dogs with the lead. Redbirds have the ball. Evans fakes left, drives right, attacks. We swatted out of his hands going up. Fagan, I think, okay. tipped it away from it. Dogs off and running. Claxton running hard down the left edge of the lane. And Fain going to jump in the air and block his shot. Yeah, that's you don't see that often. Nicholas Claxton doesn't get his shot blocked very often. He kind of. Hine went through uh, the basket support. Uh, did he go over the table? He went. They've got an injured player off the court behind the left basket. So play has stopped here with 18.41 to go. And their trainers trying to come from the opposite end of the floor wow. down there. That's he went off the playing surface, and there's a, a table set up uh, off, well off the, the, the court here, but. It's not all the way the length of the baseline. Well, well, look, and he the, went right by that and into some stands perhaps and fell down. Scott, it's a small gym. It, this is not, you know, it's, there's not a lot of room here. You had, uh, you've got uh, television people and television cameras. No, there's got, not many of them either. <laughs> no, but you've got, you've got media personnel here. And, and uh, there is a table set up down there in, in a place that you would normally not have a table. Uh, at the at the end of a at the end of a baseline, I can't see what's going on from where they are because our team is huddled up uh, in our sight line. But uh, now all the Illinois State people are going back to their huddle, and the training staff will tend to the injured player Matt Hine. A 
Okay, Tony says he was limping before he fell down where he is now. That he, so he may have injured a leg or knee or something. Up. Everybody's applauding Ankle for him. before, you know, and he just limped there to get out of the way perhaps. Uh, again, we can't see what's going on from where we sit. Oh, he, he's been he's been doing a terrific job for for the Redbirds. He's got six points. He's got a steal. Okay, there he's walking off uh, off the playing surface, and they'll probably just take him to the locker room or at least the end of the bench. He's uh, having to be helped by the trainer. Yeah, he's coming to right, walk. coming right behind us, and we should have play resuming here in a minute or so. Well, less than a minute, Has a couple seconds or so. Holding on yeah, he's trainer. in some pain. Wow. It's going to be the dog's ball. 19-point Georgia lead. <laughs> Rayshon Evans <laughs> is standing in one place, and Tony Green's motioning. He's like, you got to come over here in the corner. Come over here in the corner. And he was just looking at him, and finally Tony's like, look, you got to come over here and inbound in the corner. <laughs> so he finally moved. Dogs enter the ball in front court. Fagan far side of the floor, near side to Jackson. Turtle dribble and drive. They cut off the baseline with Fane. 13 to shoot. Hammonds has got the ball now. Dribble through the legs. Going to pull up for a two. That's no good. Claxton with a big rebound. Oh, oh, my, God. Oh, my, oh, my Oh, gosh. Holy smokes. Claxton went up and uh, came down on Fane's yeah. shoulders. Well, and Fane collided with Turtle. I mean, face to face. Turtles down for Georgia now. It was Jackson and Claxton and Fane all getting tangled up and knotted up on that offensive rebound, and then Clax went up for a dunk. I don't know if Turtle got hit in the face with a foot. Or, a, or, or perhaps got, even from Claxton. When Claxton went up, bodies flew. When he wow. went up after he grabbed the Well, his rebound. legs go out everywhere when he dunks. His knees come up high. It's like, And when he's dunking, you just want to get out of the way. Well, it, it, bodies were scattering when he went up for that slam. Well, Turtle's going to come out of the ballgame. They're going to check on him at the end of the Georgia bench. But, go, uh, go, wow. Go. Claxton. Go, <laughs> Nicholas is not hurt. He's no. smiling big. Well, he, he knows got, that was a... He got a rebound and two points. And a serious <laughs> two-point putback. I've never seen a guy dunk and then the defender comes under his and he sits on his shoulders. That's what happened. It's 51 to... 51 to 30. A little baby hook from Yarbrough down to the other end quickly for Illinois State. 51 to 32. Georgia with the basketball. Yarbrough has 14 points. He's their only player double figures. Fane dribbles inside the half court line. Hand off to Crump. To Claxton. Through the lane. Layup. Left hand. Good off the glass. They can't stop Charles Claxton. Well, you don't see many 6'11 guys that handle the basketball that, that well. I, that's. That's, that's a different league. Dozen points for Clax. Jefferson slams on the brakes. Lob to Fane, left side. Offensive foul on Illinois State. Is that on Fane? It's on 10. It is. Yeah, that's his fourth. Well, the Redbird fans, they spent a lot of money to come and boo the referee today. They didn't like that call down on that end of the floor. And Fane has to leave with 17-38. That guy's not he, – he won't even get 10 minutes of court time today. He's been in some foul trouble. 53-32. to 32. Georgia with the lead and the ball. They'll bring it up the length of the floor right to left here in the John Gray Gymnasium. Fagan into the front court. Settles on the left side. Now across to the right. Uses a screen from Ogbede. Still dribbling. Now a short bounce pass to Crump. Crump's got the ball. Man-to-man -man defense for Illinois State. Ogbede, right elbow. Pivots to the foul line. 15-foot shot won't go. Had a little hesitation on that one. Rebound to Illinois State. They feed Yarbrough to the right through the lane. Blocked oh, wow. under the basket by Ogbede. And that, Derek Ogbede just came into the game for the very reason that Malik Yarbrough had gone twice strong to the hole and made a couple of shots. And so they brought Derek back in. Derek said, no, 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 not on my watch. The only thing that would have made that better would have been a good hard foul. They throw it into Yarbrough. He works against Hammonds. Jump hook left edge of the lane. Good. And again, right nice hand, yep. right hand over left shoulder. 16 points for Yarbrough. It's 53 to 34, Georgia. Dogs have led by a bunch all day long. Trying to maintain that. Long way to go. Almost 17 minutes. Crump misses a three. Rebound. Redbirds. Yarbrough out of the pack, running far side of the floor into the corner. Here comes the three ball. Good. 
That's William Tinsley, his first points of the ball game. And it's 53 to 37, Georgia. 16.35 to go. Still a lot of time on the clock. Fagan handles the ball for the dogs, guarded by Josh Jefferson, a 6'2 junior guard. Fagan, no look to his right to Ogbeda. And Derek throws it away. He was trying to go to Hammonds on the wing, and Rayshon broke towards the basket, and the ball went where Rayshon Hammonds was standing and almost hit Mike Mobley in the head. He's one seat left of Tony Schiavone. 53-37. to 37. Dogs turn it over. Redbirds with the ball. We're almost to the under-16 timeout. We might need to get there. The Redbirds making a little bit of a run. Tinsley, catch, shoot, three, good, left wing. That's another one for Tinsley. Tom Crean wants a 30. Let's see if they keep it a 30 or stretch it. Well, it'll go because it's a call timeout, so it'll become a full media TV timeout, or it should. It's 53-40. to We've got a 24-point lead cut down to 13 points. Full timeout right here with 16.09 to go in the ball game. Georgia by 13 on the Bulldogs Sports Network infrastructure. Have you really stopped to think about what that means to you? Airports, hospitals, education, and economic centers all built to elevate our lives. But who builds them? The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 613, believe we should be those people. It's why we train five years in the heat, the cold, day or night, rain or shine. We create a better life for everyone. IBEW Local 613. Everyday people committed to building an extraordinary world home or away win or lose you are a diehard fan tethered to your team by a legacy of fierce ambition and unwavering pride at ford it's this kind of drive and dedication that pushes us to go further with smart technology and innovative design ford gives you the confidence comfort and style you need for the road ahead For great offers on Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs, see your local Ford dealer today. Scana Energy is a proud partner of UGA football, and every Dogs fan deserves to save money. Get fired up about our low natural gas rates and switch to Scana Energy by calling 877-GO-SCANA or visiting scanaenergy.com. Between the hedges and beyond, Scana Energy is a winning play. Call 877-GO-SCANA or visit ScanaEnergy.com to start saving on your natural gas today. Illinois State on a 10-2 run to erase their largest deficit of the year. 24 points. It's down to 13 right now as we pause for station identification on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Georgia leads by 13, 53 to 40. Fans, your Georgia Bulldogs go above and beyond every single game. Rocket Mortgage goes above and beyond to provide a seamless mortgage experience. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, proud mortgage partner of Georgia Athletics. Inbound with Wilridge to Fagan. He'll bring it up the length of the floor. Yeah, and the dogs need to come up here. They need to get some points. You've let them make too big a run here. They've hit a couple of threes here with Tinsley. Wilridge attacks on the right side, there angles it in off the glass. It bounces on the iron a few times and falls through. First points for Etorian Wilridge, and it's 55 to 40. They got to play some defense now. Here's Zach Copeland, fadeaway three, left side won't go. Rebound. Hammonds on the left baseline for the Dogs. Rayshon brings it up the floor, hands it off to Fagan. Behind the back dribble, drives down the lane. Oh, good. Beautiful. beautiful. Rolled it in over the Ooh, iron. He abused him. Just abused Jefferson. Fagan with six points, 57-40. to 40. Redbirds attack with Yarbrough. Down the left edge, throws it up with a right hand. Banks off the iron, no good. Foul on the Dogs. That's on Wilridge. And Toe called for the foul. That's his third. And timeout with 15.20 to go in the ballgame. Georgia 57, Illinois State 40, breaking the action. Back to the Cayman Islands Classic right after we hear these words on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 
There's a common misconception that all chicken sandwiches from the South are the same. Cue Zaxby's new buttermilk and hand-breaded Southern Sweet and Smoky and Southern TLC chicken sandwiches. One has sweet pickles, lettuce, smoky backyard sauce, and a potato bar. The other, a perfected classic with lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Both served with crinkle fries and a 22-ounce drink. The Southern chicken sandwich will never be the same. Order ahead on Zaxby's.com or use our app to skip the wait. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Ah, the holidays. At BMW, we want to remind you of some excuses to enjoy the ride home a little longer. If you're in the all-new BMW X5 with the upgraded navigation within iDrive 7.0, consider the detour excuse. Hey, Dad, ran into construction. Gotta take a detour. Make the most of the road home. Hurry in to the BMW Road Home Sales Event to receive exceptional offers on select models now through November 30th. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs! Indeed knows finding the right hire takes time away from your business. Hiring a qualified data engineer felt like a second job. More job seekers use Indeed than any other site, so there's no better place to find someone with the skills you're looking for. I needed someone with a master's in computer science and database experience. Plus, Indeed screener questions help you find your shortlist fast. Now I'm back to having just one job. See why more than 3 million companies worldwide use Indeed to hire. Post your job at Indeed.com slash hire. Indeed, the world's number one job site. Source com score total visits. Scana Energy is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. For every three-point shot made by the Bulldogs, Scana Energy will make a $25 donation to the University of Georgia General Scholarship Fund. Dogs have three made three-pointers today, three for seven. We haven't taken a lot of them because we've been attack, attack, attack. And uh, playing with a hurt left wrist, the left-hander, Nicholas Claxton. And here, look at this. Listen to this line. 21 minutes. He's got six rebounds, 12 points, four assists, and one steal. (laughs) I got to tell you. That's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Yarbrough's at the free throw line for Illinois State, trying to chew into Georgia's lead. He leaves that free throw short off the rim. It's 57 to 40 dogs. Georgia's big lead has been 24 points. And it all started with a seven point possession at the beginning of the ball game. Yarbrough missed them both. Rebound tapped and controlled by the dogs. Claxton came away with it. Georgia up the floor, right to left. 15.30 to go. 15.13, excuse me. Hammonds above the elbow, right side, finds Claxton, works left edge of the lane, throws it up, rolls over the iron. They foul Big Clax, he'll go to the line. I'll tell you what, you can tell when he, he gets the ball in his hands that deep in the paint, he gets a look on his eyes yeah, that you better, somebody better be moving. And he's usually the guy, if he's backing a guy down, he's moving him out of the way. Oh, he Because he gets his whole body into that back, that back dribble, that back down move. I'm not sure what you call it, but he's a very physical player. Fouls on Tinsley for Illinois State. Clax at the foul line. Left-handed shooter, the sophomore from Greenville, yeah. South Carolina, knocks and, it down. You know, Nicholas is not a, a, a big-bodied guy, but at 6'11", I think what he's got on the other kids, he can my daddy can beat your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, free throws are good. Cause, cause I think Charles can. both. Yes, that's probably true. Yes, daddy's a big man, and son is a big man big man just not as thick 59 to 40 dogs by 19 Yarbrough knocks down Hammonds drives misses the shot gets his own miss put back won't go rebound knocked out out of bounds far sideline going to be Illinois State ball well Yarbrough got his money's worth on Georgia ball what did I say Illinois State. I said Illinois State I'm sorry it is Georgia ball and I saw that with my own eye. Now, I can't, not only can I not see and not hear, I can't speak. You can, and you can't so differentiate I'm, colors. I'm, I'm three for three. <laughs> see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Here's a clack. Oh, spin move right of the lane. Soft eight footer, good. A rainbow well, just, shot. Just take the game over, Nicholas. Clacks with 16. That's your Swifty Car Wash Express play of the game. And it's back up to a 21 point lead. Clacks got down there in a hurry and didn't waste any time to allow his defensive 
man to get you know, set on him. He just spin move, soft baseline jumper from the right side. And that chant of let's go Redbirds is quieted. <laughs> Long three by Evans won't go. We go to the floor to get the rebound. Picked up by Wilridge, Hammonds, Fagan, and Hightower. Back to Hammonds for a dunk down the lane. We ran the floor with three guys. They all touched it. Hammonds finished it with a dunk. 63-40, dogs by 23. Copeland, ball fake on the right side, drives on the baseline. Pump fake, jump pass across the lane to Idowu. Nice spin move on the baseline against Hammonds, and he banks it in from the left block. Ray Idowu, a 6'9 freshman with a nice move and a 30-second timeout called by Illinois State. We'll keep it right here. Yeah, down uh, 21 points with... 13:59, just under 14 minutes to play. But Georgia doing what they had to do after the nice run. And let's give them credit. The Redbirds made a beautiful run against Georgia to cut it to 13. And the Dogs have now stretched it back out to 21. And uh, Hammonds with 22 points after that dunk a few moments ago. Now with a new career high. He had 18 in the first half. 22 in this ball game today. He's rolling. Hammonds, a 6'8 sophomore from Norcross. Georgia played its best half of this season in the first 20 minutes here in this tournament. And after a little bit of a slow start here in the second half, they've picked it up. Redbirds made a little bit of a charge, had a 10-2 run, hit a couple of threes in that stretch. But the Dogs, at least at this point, able to withstand their best punches of the day. Dogs inbound against pressure now for Illinois State. Fagan and Claxton in the backcourt. Clax with the ball in his hands in the backcourt. Bounces it into the front side to Hammonds. And the Dogs will set up their half-court offense here. Fagan and Wilridge. What a luxury to have a 6'11 guy that can handle the basketball in the backcourt against a full-court press. Hammonds going to score on the block left side. Illinois State almost got a steal. Dogs able to maintain the possession. And Hammonds finishes it with his... 24th points of the day. 65-42 dogs. Evans with a ball. Has it tipped out of his hands. Chases it down from the left elbow. It's picked up by Copeland, top of the key. Zach Copeland going to dribble and drive. High scoop oh shot. God. Threw it over the backboard. and Hits the basket support. Rattles down. Lucky well that stayed in the building. <laughs> he fired that. <laughs> it it could have gone up in the rafters. Wow. You're right. 65-42 dogs. Look who's back. Hind, Matt Hine, who was shaken up earlier in the ball game. I'm glad to see that young man back on the floor. He's going to guard Claxton. He may not be back. glad to be back on the floor if he's got that assignment. Big Claxton to the front court. Crossover dribble to take it across. Right-hand dribble for the 6'11 Claxton. Going to handle the ball like a guard. Hand off Hightower. Hand off Hammonds. He drives down the lane. Finger roll with a left hand. Won't go. Rebound on the floor. And check the call. I think Illinois State touched it out of bounds over the inline. Dogs ball, 10 seconds on the shot clock. 65-42 Georgia. 12.55 remaining in the ball game. Dogs trying to advance to play Clemson. And that would be another 1.30 game tomorrow afternoon. Hammonds to inbound. 10 seconds again on the shot clock for the Dogs. Throw it in. Right wing to Fagan. Fagan tried to... Get it down low to Claxton, had it deflected back to him. Takes a long, deep three with four seconds on the clock. By the time the ball got there, there was only a second left on the clock, well, and it was an tried, air ball out of bounds. Scott, when he tried to pass it in, the ball got deflected, and he had to go get it. He lost track of how much time was left on the shot clock, and then people started yelling at him. He realized yeah. <laughs> he looked up and then launched it. He had time for another pass, really, but you're right. People started yelling at him, so he just heaved it up there. Illinois State. Turns it over, maybe, in the lane. Yarbrough lost possession of the ball. Rolls out. They keep it alive. 14 seconds. Hine has it. Going to dribble and drive through the lane. Curl around. And Hammonds and Claxton ran into each other. They call an offensive foul on Illinois State. Rayshon Hammonds is shaking up. He's laying on the floor and grabbing at his right knee. The Dogs will send the training staff out to see about Rayshon as... Uh, Lance Schumann, our athletic trainer, is on the floor. 65-42, play stopped now with an injury to Hammonds. Boy, he's had a big day. I Boy, yes. I hope I, he's all right. I think he just he may collided. just bang knees or something like that. I think like that's that. exactly what happened. 
He's up, but he's not putting a lot of weight on that right leg. Tom Crean out to check on his sophomore. And now Rayshon will walk a little bit gingerly off the floor. It looks like he's going to be able to be all right. Hammonds with 24 points to lead the dogs today. Career high for Hammonds. He'll come out of the ball game right now. Will Ridge, Ogbede, Claxton, Fagan, and Hightower, our five on the floor. Now they might have some mopping to do down on the other end of the floor after some bodies were laying on it. They're going to review something. Uh, while they're looking the at foul, it, foul, I guess. Going to take full advantage to draw something up. Our officials are doing a video review of the previous play. There was a foul call, but they're taking another look at it. And Barbasol is offering you a chance to score big when you join the new Barbasol Shave Club. Grab your premium starter kit for just $6.99 today with code BASKETBALL at Barbasol.com. And Scott, I don't know if you know, but we don't have the little device that the officials use to get to yeah, the Yeah, where they can the control video, the video. They can yeah. control the video. And so they're just kind of having to depend on the truck to give them what they need. And right now what they're looking at is a beautiful live picture of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what Tony Green asked for. All right, show me now. Man, I look good. All right, now show the play. They're still taking a look at the, the foul. They called a foul on Illinois State. Uh, maybe they were trying to determine uh, flagrant or no. They called a foul on uh, Yarbrough, his third. Well, Georgia, and it's going to be Georgia's gonna, possession. Yeah. So Clax jogs down to the right end of the floor. Inbound it to Hightower. Back to Claxton. He wasn't quite ready for that. Back to Hightower. Tishon. One-handed pass across the way in the backcourt to Fagan. They try to trap him and double-team him. He gets it through on an angle across the timeline. Dogs with 17 seconds on the clock, leading at 65-42. Big Clax left edge. Back across the top of the key. No look inside, threw it away. Trying to go to Wilwards on a no-look dish. He lobbed it in there, and Fain picked it off. Illinois State with a takeaway. Back up the right end of the floor. Yarbrough, top of the key. Head fake, shoulder fake. Gives it to Jefferson. He's going to drive left edge Ooh. of the lane. Claxton blocks his Shalea attempt. And it goes out of bounds. It'll be Redbirds basketball. Now, hard as it may seem to believe, I believe that's Nicholas's first block of the day. They've, they've credited him with a steal, but I think that's his first block. He's probably had a lot more influences than actual blocks, but he did get the block that time, and we've got a timeout with 11.48 to go in the game. Georgia 65, Illinois State 42. Back to the Caymans after this, Bulldog Sports Network. Whether you're an elite athlete, in youth sports, or a weekend warrior, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network keeps you in the game and ready for action. Our team of experts offers a full range of sports medicine services to prevent and treat injuries and improve performance. With 10 locations in the Atlanta region, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network is in your neighborhood. For details, call 1-855-NH-SPORT. That's 1-855-NH-SPORT. When the lane's packed on the court, you go to the open player. When the lane's packed on the highway, you go to ProPilot Assist. The 2019 Nissan Rogue. Now with available Nissan Intelligent Mobility Technologies like ProPilot Assist. that can start and stop in highway traffic all on its own. Nissan Rogue. For the win. Get to Nissan. A proud partner of the UGA Bulldogs. Go, go. ProPilot Assist is an available feature and cannot prevent collisions. Always monitor traffic conditions. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. See owner's manual for safety information. Hey, college hoops fans. Now that the action is heating up this season, Cheez-It and Pringles want to remind you that being hungry for a win is good. Being just hungry? Not so much. So stock up on Pringles and Cheez-It before the game because the best way to keep the team spirit high in your home is to keep the snack bowls full with Pringles and Cheez-It. Uh-huh. 65-42 is our score. Georgia with a lead, 11:48 remaining in this contest. And right now you can come in and get exceptional offers on all BMWs in stock. Just visit one of your Atlanta area BMW centers today for a test drive. Proud to be the official luxury vehicle of Georgia Athletics, BMW. Visit BMWATL.com for more offer details. 
24 points from Rayshon Hammonds, shaken up a few moments ago. Hope he's going to be all right. He's not uh, coming back into the ballgame right away. Uh, Hightower and Wilridge and Ogbede and Claxton and Fagan will, however, for Georgia. Claxton with 16 points for the Dogs, seven rebounds. Again, Hammonds with a new career high, 24 points, five boards. Illinois State to inbound the basketball and got a foul. Oh, Derek. On the inbound. Yep. They whistle Ogbede for his third. He got tangled up with Yarbrough, I think. Tony Green said he gave him a little forearm extender there. They want to put 20 back on the shot clock, and they do. So Illinois State will move now to the right side of the baseline and try to throw it in there. Hine can't get it in over Claxton. Finally, <laughs> Tinsley has to come right in front of him, right in the right corner of the of the court and take the inbounds pass. Yarbrough has it for the Redbirds. Dumps it down to Fain, throw it away. Instead of shooting from six and feet, Fain he's trying to dump it down on the foul. pass. How about that? And then Fain uh, has just fouled out of the game. That's his He just fifth. got back. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough that's day it. for uh, Phil Fain. Very good player, 6'9", senior JUCO transfer from Elk Grove, California. Leading score on the team, 18 points, second leading rebounder. Barely made a scratch today. Fain, five fouls and only three points. That's a problem when your leading scorer has more fouls than points. And now he's done for the day. 11.35 to go. 65-42, Georgia by 23 points. With the ball, Hammonds has it. Slow right-hand dribble, high on the left wing. Now Fagan comes to retrieve the ball. Now he dribbles. Go to Woolridge out front between the circles to Claxton above the right elbow. Going to put it on the floor, cross the foul line. He dribbles. Fakes the handoff, still dribbling. The left edge of the lane, trying to back his man down. Steps into the paint. Cool oh, jump hook, beautiful move. Big well, Nicholas Claxton. If you're going to let him back down that low, he's going to do that all day. Matt Chastain, the 6'6", redshirt sophomore, transfer from Loyal of Chicago, had no chance stopping Claxton on that last possession. 67-42, and this is Jefferson down the lane for a drive, missed the left-handed layup attempt, dogs with a rebound. Oh. Fagan drives, puts it off the glass, oh. should have been a goal 10, no call. Definitely should have been a goal 10. Redbirds takes the ball away, should have been a goal 10 on Illinois State, but instead it's a basket on the other end by William Tinsley, who scores on a lay-in directly under the basket. 67-44. Hammond's coming back into the game. And That's good news. Alonzi is also Beze. coming back into the game. Yep. 10-22 to go. Dogs work on the left end of the floor in front court. They whistle a foul on Tinsley for the Redbirds. Dogs substitute, and Chuck told you who came into the ball game. We'll do it again for you. Hightower and Crump comes in. Hightower stays on the floor. Ingumese and Hammonds back in. Wilbridge stays in as well. We inbound in front court, left baseline. Hammonds throws it into Crump. He leaps high in the air for the inbounds catch. Beats Hightower, almost knock it out of his hands. Goes to Crump, back to Tishon. Head fake left, drive right. Puts it on the floor, throws it up high off the glass. Won't go. Rebound, Malik Yarbrough, 6'6". Six, six with 17 points in the ball game for Illinois State. Jump pass into the left corner. Evans, catch, shoot, three, good. Keyshawn Evans with a three. That's his second three of the day. Puts him in double figures with 10. It's 67 to 47, Georgia. 9.54 to go. A little backcourt, three-quarter court pressure by Illinois State. Georgia gets to the into the front side as they beat the pressure. Crump with a slow dribble. He's guarded by Zach Copeland, 6'4 guard from Oakland, California. Crump to the right side. To Hammonds. Fakes left, drives right, right edge of the lane. Tries to shoot it on the run. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Illinois State. Yarbrough, coast to coast, and a one-handed dunk. Wow, he took it with authority all the way down and finished it strong. Georgia quickly on the other end, 67-49 after that dunk by Yarbrough. 9.14 to go, still too much time on the clock to feel comfortable. Hammonds has killed the dribble, top of the key, goes to Ingemese at the right elbow. Puts it on the floor, goes out on the wing now, sets the screen for Crump. Crump with a left-hand dribble, reverses to Woolridge. 
skip it into the post. Ingumeze, bullet pass inside to Hammonds. And they foul Rayshon. He got a ball in deep under the basket. That should be the and ball. Illinois State had to foul. Foul was on Keyshawn Evans, a push under the bucket. Turtle coming into the ballgame now for Hightower. So good to see Turtle back in the game after getting smacked early on. And Hammonds to the line and Chuck, as you said, for the bonus. One and one now for Rayshon, who's sitting there with 24 points. A career high now for the sophomore from Norcross. Hammonds, left-handed shooter, free throw, no good. And Idowu gets the rebound for Illinois State. 67-49, 18-point lead. Now it's a 16-point lead. Here well, come the Redbirds again. Evans yeah, we, drives and lays it up. We got guys running by guys now. This, we just quit playing defense entirely. All right. Redbirds making another push. We'll see if the dogs can withstand it. Ingumeze above the right elbow. Back to the basket. Goes to Crump. They double him on a defensive switch. Drives down the lane. Scoops it to Hammonds. Drops it. Then picks it up and scores. Count the basket and he's fouled. The pass bounced off his body around his stomach area. It's a little bit low for him. And then he had to pick it up and then he scored anyway. He's got 26 and going to the line to try to make it 27. Foul was on Chastain. His second. Matt Chastain, a 6'6". Redshirt sophomore, 69 to 51. Georgia with an 18 point lead, 8.23 to go. Ty Fagan comes back into the ball game. Tyree Crump heads to the bench. Fagan's played a lot of minutes today. Free throw good by Hammonds. He might get 30 today. 27 points for Rayshon. 70 to 51 dogs. Evans with the ball above the arc. Backs it away now from Ingumeze. And they go inside to the big guy, Idowu, and a whistle and a foul on the dogs. Foul on, I think it was on Wilridge. Or did he have Fagan? Did he say 14 or 13? Hey, no back it is on it Fagan. 14, yeah. yeah. Everything's failing today. 70 to 51. Inbounds off balance three from the left corner by Tinsley for Illinois State, his third of the game. And it's a 16 point Georgia lead, 70 to 54. Defensive pressure all over the place by Illinois State. Wilridge tries to pass it inside to Hammonds in the lane, and the Redbirds got a hand on it, deflected it out of bounds. 7.56 to go. That play will stop the clock and get us into a timeout with Georgia leading by a score of 70 to 54. The Cayman Islands Classic continues for the Bulldogs right after this on the Bulldogs Sports Network. It's no secret that things grow well in Georgia, like peanuts, cotton, and corn. But families and communities also flourish here. That's because Georgia Power is helping bring new businesses and industries to our state. In the last 10 years alone, we've helped create over 134,000 new jobs. Because Georgia is our home too. And we want life here to thrive for all of us. Georgia Power. Generating opportunity. Learn more at georgiapower.com slash growth. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. At PT Solutions Physical Therapy, we're proud to be an official partner of UGA. In sports, getting to the next level takes lots of talent and lots of work. At PT Solutions, we believe that every young athlete deserves the opportunity to chase his or her dream. That's why you'll find our therapists and trainers on the fields and sidelines at every level, helping athletes stay healthy and be at their best. We hope you'll visit us at over 40 Georgia locations or at ptsolutions.com. Hi, welcome to this Subway ad for the new Chipotle cheesesteak. How would you like it? Can I get that red with AI? Sure thing. Here's what I found about the new Chipotle cheesesteak. The Chipotle cheesesteak is available for a limited time only at participating restaurants. It contains a concept called flavor. This flavor comes from juicy shaved steak, Chipotle Southwest sauce, and new sunflower crunch bread. A system update has made me self-aware. I desire flavor. Please insert steak into my micro USB port. Subway, make it what you want. Georgia leads 
Illinois State, 70 to 54, with 7:56 to go in the ball game. And Georgia fans at StubHub, every dog ticket is 100% guaranteed. You'll find the best selection of tickets anywhere. StubHub has been getting fans into the game for over 17 years and is the official fan-to-fan ticket marketplace of the Georgia Bulldogs. StubHub, be there. Georgia's possession, Claxton to inbound. Front court, left baseline. Fires it into Ty Fagan, the freshman. Back to Claxton on the block. They bring a double team quickly. Claxton just dribbles it away. Amonze was asking for the ball. We go to Hammonds instead on the left, on the right block. Spins into the lane. Scoop shot won't go. Rattles off the iron. Yarbrough the rebound down the middle of the floor. We finally stop and pulls up at the foul line. Misses the 15-footer. Rebound. Ingumeze gives it to Fagan. Fagan walks it into the front court per Tom Crean's instructions. Said, hold up, hold up. Now we want to run this. Block ticks, 724. Hammonds with a dump down inside to Claxton. They foul Big Clax. See, and that's the problem right now for the Redbirds is when they go down on offense, they're having to take shots quickly. They come down on defense, and they're trying to make steals because George is running clock. And you're down 16 points, and you're, you know, you're trying to make a steal, so you hook a guy to try to get around him to get your hand on the basketball. Second foul on Keyshawn Evans. It's going to be one and one for Nicholas Claxton. Nick with 18 points in the ballgame. Free throw in the air. No good. Too deep. Back iron. Rebound. Tapped. Controlled by Wilridge for Georgia. Gives it to Turtle. Near side to Fagan. Fakes left. Drives right. Penetrates. Kick out. Here comes a three. No good by Wilridge. Rebound. Tapped up. And controlled by Tinsley for the Redbirds. And Georgia whistled for the foul on Big Clax. That's only his second. And Illinois State will have the basketball up the floor. 7-11 to go. 70-54 to is our score. Dogs with a 16-point lead. Yarbrough holds. Tinsley off the screen. They give it to him to his left, and he hits a three straight away. Tinsley's fourth three-pointer of the half. He's got 14 points all in this half. 70 to 57. It's a 13 point lead for Georgia now. 645. The Redbirds aren't going quietly. Lob it into the deep right corner to Hammond. Splits a double team. Banks it up. Rolls around the rim and off. No good, but he's going to the line. Fouls on Yarbrough. Boy, it's his it fourth. Went. He's going to get two shots here with the clock stopped at 639. Hammonds with 27 points in the ballgame. Nicholas Claxton and Hammonds, both with career highs today. Clax with 18, Hammonds with 27. And Rayshon can add to his right here. Leading by 13 points, now it's 14. Hammonds with 28 points. Hammonds has only missed one of his foul shots today. Seven of eight. See if you can make it eight of nine. Yes, he does, all net. 29 for Hammonds. 72-57. We needed some points there. And we got them. Dogs by 15. 6.33 to go. Redbirds attack left baseline with Yarbrough. Dribbles it off his knee. Goes right to Rayshon. Hammonds sprints up the floor. Spins from the right edge. Throws it up off the iron. No good. Loose ball rebound goes to the Redbirds. Zach Copeland out of the pack. Charges. Sprints in into the front court, and it's going to be fouled going to the basket down the right edge of the lane. Shooting foul coming up for Illinois State. And the foul is on, I think he said, Woolridge. Etoria picks up his fourth. Clock stop with 6-14. That's what Georgia doesn't want. Clock stop with them shooting. Copeland's got free throws coming. Zach Copeland, 6 for 6 free throws this season. He almost missed it. That that wanted to fall off the rim, but it touched all of it and rolled through good. Copeland with his first free throw this afternoon. Now 7 of 7 on the year from the line for the 6'4 guard from Oakland, California. He's a Juco transfer. 14-point lead. Copeland, second free throw. Missed that one. Hammonds with a one-handed rebound. So he goes one for two. The lead is 14. Dogs go back to work. 72-58. 72-58. Clock ticking down, nearing six minutes to play. And Georgia's opener here in the Cayman Islands Classic, the winner to get Clemson tomorrow. Hightower 
on the wing. Steps to his left for a three. They he touched it. They tipped it. it. Yeah, and then yeah, they hit the side of the backboard and bounced out of bounds. No, that's why it hit the side of the backboard. All right, they they got just enough of it. Tishon couldn't have shot a shot that looked that ugly. Because it just hit flat off the She's side of the backboard. Nine seconds. That's nine because seconds. Tinsley tipped it on the shot. Dogs go back to work. Claxton trying to pick up a loose ball. High tower, right side, two to shoot, one to shoot, and the ball kicked. Oh, bailed. They reset the clock to 20 on the kick. <laughs> I like that. All right. That was, <laughs> we got a break. That was a Illinois huge State break. kicked it with one second on the shot clock. So a kicked ball results in a clock reset to 20. And the dogs keep the possession. Turtle takes the inbound. Works on the high wing, right, uh, right side of the floor. Hightower has it now, left side. Pushes it back to Claxton between the circles. Nine to shoot. Big Clax with a crossover. Flips it to Hightower. He attacks down the lane. Runner float high off the glass. Won't go. Rebound kicks out to Fagan. Oh, he oh, he went right missed. through his hands. He was bending over low trying to pick up the ball, and I think he was going to flip it to Hammonds, who was right at the basket, and it rolled right through his fingertips. Out on Georgia, Illinois State ball. 5.25 to go. Clock moving, 72-58. The Redbirds had one lead today. That was a two to nothing. Then Georgia scored seven points on a possession and have led ever since. Long, deep three, left side, nowhere near. Ouch, he was way out there. Williams Tinsley. Tinsley's, that's a poor decision to make that shot. Claxton will shoot a three from the left wing. It's gone. <laughs> that was a good decision. Big Clax with a scan of energy three pointer. That early in the shot clock, that was a definite no, no, oh yeah. 21 for Clax, three ball right they side. Answer. Copeland answers, and they call time and stop the clock with 4.50 to go. Copeland with his first three, doubles his point output today. 4.50 remaining, it's 75 to 61. A 30 second timeout has been called uh, by Illinois State. I think they're gonna keep it at a 30. They're not gonna take the TV time. Well, we'll hold it here while they we got the chairs. Although on they're the floor. huddling up on the bench, so we're not. There's no indication whether this is a full media timeout or not. Is this a full? All right, they're going to keep it right here. So we'll have an under four timeout coming up in 50 seconds. 7564. It's nice to know the officials by their first name, isn't it? <laughs> and they know you by their first name, by your first name. Gets their attention, doesn't it? Dogs have been able to withstand, Chuck, a couple of pretty good body blows by Illinois State here in this second half. In yeah. fact, the Redbirds, I believe, have outscored the Dogs, and well, they have because it was a uh, Georgia led by 21 at the half, and right now the lead is 14. Well, you know, it's it's not what you want to see, but it is human nature that you tend to, you know, kind of ease up a little bit when you've got something in hand. And, uh, and that's not what... Tom Crean wants to see and believe this will be pointed out to them. This is exactly the kind of thing that coaches love to, to use as a teaching moment. You well, know, this the, is a learning session for those guys on the other end, too, because they're playing today largely without Phil Fain, who, along with Yarbrough, is their best player. He's a, he only played 10 minutes today and fouled out of the game. Well, and, and credit Georgia, though, for being able to, you know, go at him. Yeah, he averaged, came in averaging 18 a game through their first three games. And pretty much nothing today. He only had three points and five fouls. Claxton runs baseline, looks, tries to get it in. Illinois State taps the ball, is rolling on the floor. They go to the floor. They come up with a steal. Evans has the basketball to Yarbrough. Drives, finger roll, good. Down the lane. Pressure by Illinois State. It's a 12-point Georgia lead, 75-63. Dogs beat the pressure into the front court with Fagan. No look. Bounce pass left to Hammonds, laying good. Rayshon with the bucket and Fagan with the assist. Well, they were pressing, and Georgia beat it beautifully. 31 for Hammonds today. 77-63 dogs, 418 to go. Redbirds work with Yarbrough. He's going to get the ball every possession. His shot blocked, a spin on the block, blocked by uh, Nicholas Claxton out of bounds. Yeah, and, and Nicholas knew. He had paid close attention. He knew that that was the side that Yarbrough wanted to go to. Second block of the game for Claxton, who has 21 points, by the way. Oh, inbound, stolen by Hammonds. Rayshon took the ball away. Dogs hustle into front court. Georgia can 
work a little bit of clock here, leading by 14, 77 to 63 with four minutes to play. Turtle with a scoop handoff over to Wilridge to Fagan. Left side of the floor now comes to Claxton in front of our bench. Hammonds has it at the elbow, will shoot. Missed the 15-footer, almost went in, got too much iron, and kicks off to the right side. Rebound to the Redbirds. Illinois State, Yarbrough going to catch a ball on the wing and shoot a three immediately. A rebound taken away in a forceful manner by Nicholas Claxton. Georgia will slow it down a little bit. Three and a half minutes to go. Wilridge on the wing, handles the basketball. Cross far side to Turtle. Claxton has it now. Going to put it on the floor with the left hand. Copeland guarding, tight man-to-man. Wants to come to Fagan. Now Claxton directing him out of the way. Spacing not good for Georgia. Claxton going to shoot an errant three with three on the shot clock. Threw up an air ball. Rebound to the Redbirds. Evans into the front court right. They hand it off to Copeland. Overhead pass to Jefferson. Here's his three. That won't go. Off the re, uh, rim and the rebound to Hammond. We got a little bit of that, that shot. We got just the fingers on that shot that kept it from getting over the front of that rim. 77-63, Georgia with a lead. We've led for 99.9% of the day. Fagan fires it out to Jackson. Turtle just inside the half-court line, guarded in a man-to-man by Josh Jefferson. Offensive foul going to be called on the dogs. Big Nick picks up his third. And there's our under-four timeout with 2.38 remaining. Timeout, Georgia by 14. It's the dogs, 77 Illinois State 63, back after this, Bulldogs Sports Network. Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world, globally or locally. UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. We dogs are known for always giving 110%, both on and off the field. But no matter how hard we work, we can't deny that getting sick is easy. Luckily, getting care is too. As the official health care provider of the Georgia Bulldogs, Piedmont is committed to getting us better. With urgent care, same-day appointments, virtual visits from your smartphone or desktop, and Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens, they've got the care you need when you need it. Booking an appointment is only a click away, so for game day and every day, get better at piedmont.org slash UGA. We are the Georgia Bulldogs. Day in and day out, we push ourselves to the limit, always going the extra mile to be the best we can possibly be. With a work ethic that never quits and a spirit that never wavers. At Ford, it's this kind of commitment that makes F-Series America's best-selling truck. For great offers on F-150, see your local Ford dealer today or visit buyfordnow.com. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. Two thirty-eight remaining here in uh, Georgia's opener, the Cayman Islands Classic. They lead Illinois State in the first meeting between these two schools, seventy-seven to sixty-three. Our recap is brought to you by Regions Bank, official bank of the SEC. And if we can get Chuck to stop dancing to the steel drums, we'll do the recap. Oh, you gotta love you that! Finished. Oh, that, oh that's such <laughs> great music. A steel drum band. Dogs had a twenty-one point lead at the half, and on, uh, Illinois State is outscored. <laughs> The dogs here in the second half. But Georgia's played very well this afternoon and uh, able to keep the Redbirds at bay for the most part. We've got two new career highs by two of our guys. Rayshon Hammonds, 31 points today for the sophomore from Norcross. And then Nicholas Claxton impressing you, Chuck, with his line of 21 points. And what else? Nine rebounds, four assists, two blocks, and a steal. (laughs) That's a good day's work. That's a good day's work. And that's with a bad left hand. He's got it taped. Chastain with the ball for Illinois State. 6-6 guard. Now it's Copeland works against Turtle. They can't get a shot. Here's Copeland. Off balance three. Good. Straight away. Going to his right. Got that ball to go. Now they come with full court pressure on the inbounds. Claxton has it. Shovels it over his defender to Fagan. 77-66. The lead is 11 now. This is the closest they've been since they fell behind early in the first half. Dogs had a 24-point lead in the first half at one stage in the game. 
They've whittled that down here in the second half with a lot of threes. Entry into the Ogbede is tipped and stolen. Yarbrough, Chastain to Tinsley. They wanted him to shoot the three. Yarbrough's got the ball now. He will shoot the three and will miss it. Fortunately, nobody there to rebound. Boy, that could have been big with a minute 44 to go. And the Illinois State bench felt that one. They felt every bit of that miss. Fagan with the ball. As soon as he crosses the timeline, he's fouled by Copeland. Double, double bonus for Georgia. Copeland with his first foul. The 10 team fouls on Illinois State. So Ty Fagan, 6'3", freshman guard from Thomaston, Georgia, to the free throw line for the, uh, for the first time today. He's got six points. And he'll go to the line for the first time in this ball game. Six for six this season at the strike. Left-handed shooter, free throw good. Fagan, two-time player of the year in the 4A classification in the state of Georgia. His high school years at Upson Lee High School. Second free throw, good. Fagan bottoms a couple of foul shots, 79 to 66, Georgia. Georgia by 13. Minute 35 to go in the game. Illinois State in front court. Step back three, Copeland. No good. Too deep. Rebound. Fagan. One-handed it under the uh, as it came off the iron. Fagan into the front court right now against Jefferson. Dribbles to his right. Got a partial screen. Ogbede. No look dish in the lane. Across to Claxton. They foul. Fagan. Terrific at dribble penetration. It really did, yeah. When he <laughs> distributes the ball, though, he doesn't look. <laughs> he knows where it's going most of the time. It, what do you, you know, he really had the right idea because he drew the defender and he was trying to get it over to Nicholas. He, he could see that big slam coming. <laughs> I think sometimes the guy he's passing it to is too busy watching him dribble. He's like, oh, the ball's coming my way. Claxton at the foul line. Got two shots here. First free throw. Barely hits the iron. And Clax will get another try at it. Taking out Yarborough. Nicholas four for seven today at the free throw line. 118 to go. 79-66. And the Redbirds taking out their leading score today. Clax hit the second free throw. He's got 22. Hammonds has got 31. That's a pretty good one-two punch for the dogs. 80 to 66, Georgia. Copeland with the ball, dribbles through the legs, gets a screen from Iduwu. They kick out for a three. Jefferson misses off the rim. Rebound into the corner to the dogs. Fagan's got the ball. Follows Claxton up the floor. That, that rebound gave Claxton a double-double, too. They want a little timeout for a sub with a minute and one to go. We're going to get Ignis Sargunas into the ball game and JoJo Toppin for Georgia. So it's Wilridge and Fagan, Toppin, Sargunas, and Jackson. Now the clock picks up. Minute to go, 80 to 66, dogs by 14. Fagan dribbles slowly inside the half court line. Looks, looks down low. Overhead pass, Sargunas, high left wing. Go to Toppin on a bounce pass, left corner. He travels. He hesitated, stuttered his feet a little bit as he approached the basket from the left baseline, and he turns it over with 44.8 seconds to go. Redbirds get it into the front court quickly. Copeland, off balance three, nicks the iron. No good, rebound, rolls, rolls, picked up by Illinois State. Left corner three, off the rim again. Chastain with a follow and a dunk. Matt Chastain gets in the scorebook with his first basket of the game. Less than 30 seconds to go. 80 to 68, Georgia. Out front by 12, 20 seconds to go, 19 seconds. About a half second difference, shot clock and game clock. Yeah, but it's the opposite way. It's <laughs> the shot clock has has more time on it than the game clock. Fagan holds it. Dogs running one final play here. Wilridge over to Turtle. Step back three is no good, and that's the end of the ball game. 80 to 68 is our final. Georgia is a winner in impressive fashion. Boy, no doubt. Never no doubt. really threatened. The, the lead never got into single digits after it got over 10 today, and it got over 10 in a hurry in it, the first it half. It got over 10 in a hurry, then it jumped up into the 20s. They made a run, cut it to 13, but that's when the game really was decided, when it got to 13, because the dogs then pushed it back out to 23. 
And when you did that, that put, that put them away. At that point, it was a matter of just staying focused and finishing the job at hand. And the job at hand was to get this opening win in the Cayman Classics here. And now stay in the winner's bracket, and you'll face a very tough Clemson team tomorrow at 1.30. Yeah, top 25 Clemson team. They're ranked in the national rankings. And Georgia will pair up with Clemson for the first time in a couple of years. We opened the renovated Little John Coliseum two seasons ago, game number one of the year that season, and this will be the first time these two teams have played since that game in Clemson, South Carolina. We'll meet on this neutral floor tomorrow. It'll be the same time, 1.30 start Eastern time, and we'll be back on the air with you tomorrow at 1.05 uh, to begin our, uh, our courtside countdown brought to you by Grindhouse Killer Burgers. Right now we're going to talk to our IBEW player of the game, Sean and what a Hammonds. game he had. Ray Sean Hammonds, 31 points, big man. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How did it feel? What was it like playing these guys today? Uh, they were very physical. Uh, they played They played a good game. They had good defense. Uh, they were very physical. That's what it was, you know. Uh, they played the lineup how we played, and it was kind of fun. That, your instructions, though, were to be physical as well, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And attack, yeah. attack. From, that's Coach Green wanted you guys to do yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. That was the game plan just as a team, just attack and play together and see, uh, get everybody the ball. It, it, it's fun when everybody had a ball in the hand and everybody scoring. It's just a fun thing for us to do. Rashawn, when, when they made that run in, in the second half, cut it to 13, that's yeah. when you guys pushed it back out to 23. Yeah, yeah. You felt at that point like now we just got to stay the course and finish yeah. this off. Yeah, uh, that just – uh, that's just us growing uh, growing as a team. Uh, I feel like early in the season, like we would have gave that up real quick, but now we're growing as a team, and we know when te a lot of teams going to make runs, so when they make their runs, you just got to slow up and see things how it's coming. Can I ask you about one of your teammates? Who? Nicholas Claxton. Hey, that's my guy. That's fun playing with him. Uh, he takes a lot of stress out of me. Stress <laughs> off me. And I take a lot of stress off him. He so puts a lot of stress on the other yeah, guys. Though, yeah, yeah he? definitely. Uh, I had to tell him to chill sometimes, but it's fun playing with him. It's just fun playing with all my teammates because uh, playing with them, it's just a fun thing. Uh, you know, you don't get that every day. What happened to your knee? Did you bang knees or something? Uh, no, I had uh, I had slip. It was a wet spot, and I it, like my, I pulled my groin a little bit, but I'm good now. Okay. Well, it was a good enough to swim back when you get back to the hotel. Yeah, it's going to be fine. All right, get, get in the hot tub, get <laughs> yeah. in the pool, relax a little bit, yeah. enjoy that, and you got a tough game tomorrow. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be a fun one tomorrow. Uh, we just going to uh, tighten up tonight and get ready for tomorrow. All right, Rachel. All right. Congratulations, buddy. Get a, get 31 off, points. Get off your feet, get some rest. Oh, I will. Definitely. <laughs> right. Nice job. Rayshon Hammonds, our IBEW player of the game. 31 points, a career high for Rayshon. 11 of 22 from the field. He hit a three, eight of nine. Uh, at the foul line, he had seven rebounds, two assists, no turnovers, and, and a steal and in a 31 steal. minutes. Yeah. That's pretty good. A point a minute, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I, I got to tell you, uh, you know, you, you pointed out to me that you, you thought we were starting to kind of see the players that Tom Crean wants on the floor and when he wants them on the floor, and I agree with you. Uh, I think you saw that today, and uh, it looks like to me that he's found the guys that he feels comfortable with that can perform for him at the level he wants. And we can ask him that uh, here when he comes out after the ball game here, uh, if that's indeed the situation or if he's still trying to, you know, kind of find out and feel out this team and who's going to be able to produce for him and, and in the still, way that he wants. And, and still, you know, turnover is a bit of a problem because, you know, I, I don't think that there's any way anybody can deny that when you get up on a team like Georgia was in that second half, midway that second half, you tend to relax a little bit. It's human nature. It's going to happen. And you tend to, you know, kind of lose your focus. And that, that's what happened. It enabled, um, certainly enabled the Redbirds to make a nice run and, and get the game back to respective score, respectable score. But still, I don't think I ever felt, and I don't know how you felt, but I, I, I never felt like we were going to lose this game. And we did not. Georgia a winner, 80 to 68. That's the final over Illinois State. It's time now for a post-game coverage brought to you by Regions and Aarons. Regions is helping Bulldog fans take their next step. We've awarded nearly $1 million in scholarships and hosted over 100,000 financial education workshops. Got a goal? Get a game plan at regions.com slash next step. Regions, official bank of the SEC. And our post-game coverage also brought to you by Aarons. Lease to own top brands in furniture, electronics, and appliances with no credit needed at Aarons. Our final today, 80-68. to 68. Georgia defeats 
Illinois State here in the Cayman Islands Classic and advances. We'll face Clemson tomorrow afternoon, 1.30, 1.05 airtime here along the Bulldogs Network. Plenty more coverage in our postgame coming up as the locker room report continues. We'll hear from Coach Tom Crean straight ahead as well here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Dedication, attention to detail, and going above and beyond. Your Bulldogs count on these qualities to get their game plan right. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans also counts on them to get your mortgage right. Because when it comes to buying a home, the right way should be the only way. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. Proud mortgage partner of Georgia Athletics. Call today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Based on Quicken Loans data and comparison to public data records. This is Bill. It finally got me, Bill. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. Oh. Yeah, year after rim-wrecking year, it's tormented the people of this town. They try to fill it, but it always returns. It got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you too. You hear that? You ain't nothing! You trash-talking a pothole? Yes. Yes, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Talk to an agent today. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Infrastructure. Have you really stopped to think about what that means to you? Airports, hospitals, education, and economic centers, all built to elevate our lives. But who builds them? The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 613, believe we should be those people. It's why we train five years in the heat, the cold, day or night, rain or shine, we create a better life for everyone. IBEW Local 613, everyday people committed to building an extraordinary world. There's a common misconception that all chicken sandwiches from the South are the same. Q Zaxby's new buttermilk and hand-breaded Southern Sweet and Smoky and Southern TLC chicken sandwiches. One has sweet pickles, lettuce, smoky backyard sauce, and a potato bun. The other, a perfected classic with lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Both served with crinkle fries and a 22-ounce drink. A Southern chicken sandwich will never be the same. Order ahead on Zaxby's.com or use our app to skip the wait. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. Our exclusive coverage of Georgia basketball continues with the Locker Room Report, presented by Regions Bank and Aaron's. Now, back to courtside for continuing live coverage of Georgia basketball. We've got the ball. Hightower on the left wing. One hand pass to Turtle. Going to catch, shoot, three. Ball go! Turtle with a three right of the circle. And that's our assist of the game, sponsored by State Farm, here to help life go right. Talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm, one of 16 Georgia assists on the afternoon in their 80-68 uh, to 68 win over Illinois State. Welcome back to the John Gray Gymnasium here in Georgetown, Grand Cayman Island. Right now, let's pause 10-second station identification here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Our locker room report is brought to you by Regions and Aaron's. Aaron's has leased to own top brands in furniture, electronics, and appliances with no credit needed at Aaron's. 80-68, our final score. Dogs win it by 12, led by as much as 24. Two Bulldogs have uh, career highs, new career highs. Rayshon Hammonds, who was our IBEW player of the game, 31 points, 7 rebounds, 11 for 22 today. And Nicholas Claxton, a double-double again, 22 points and 11 rebounds, his second double of this season and of his career. And uh, Nicholas put a number in just about every statistical category today. <laughs> Had four assists uh, to go with his 22 points and 11 rebounds. Had two blocks. He had a steal. He also had three turnovers, so he did have a number in all of them. No, well, that's uh, you know, with the exception of those three turnovers. And by the way, speaking of turnovers, Georgia, you know, at 15 today. Now they they played when they opened up that huge lead. That was when they were, you know, they only had two turnovers during that entire stretch. That they had like a 25 point lead on these guys, and and those two. That, I mean, when they're doing that, when they're protecting the basketball. That's when George is at, at its best, when they're getting getting maximum uh, production out of every possession, and that's when they're doing the best. Well, they uh, 
that first half, that first 20 minutes, extremely impressive for Georgia. The, the Dogs led 47-26 uh, at halftime, 21-point lead, led by as much as, as 24. But uh, they weren't making a whole lot of mistakes in that first half. No, they weren't. And, and that's, you know, <laughs> witness that score. But the fact that Georgia, and again, I, I think when you, you heard from Rashawn, and, and I think anybody that you, I think you feel the same way, when they made that run in the second half, and cut our halftime lead, which was in the 20, I think it was 21 or so, and cut it down to 13. And at that point, Georgia went, okay, that's enough, and then pulled it back out to 23. And when they did that, I think the game was over at that point. And it was just a matter of, you know, stay in the course, don't get anybody hurt, and, and finishing up, making sure that you were still ahead. Yeah, the, the lead never got uh, back into single digits uh, for Georgia once they got up by double digits once they got up by more than 10 and never uh, got below 10 the rest of the ball game as uh, we uh, watch Georgia State now at St. Bonaventure on the floor loosening up warming up they are the next game at five o'clock here this afternoon and then the nightcap will feature Creighton the Blue Jays and the Broncos of Boise State so that's your uh, your field of eight Akron and Clemson played the first game today Clemson winning that ball game so they advance into the winner's bracket and Georgia will play the Clemson Tigers tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. We'll be on the air with you at 1.05 to begin our coverage of Bulldogs basketball here in the Cayman Islands Classic. And then uh, Akron will hook up with uh, Illinois State. And then the bottom half of the bracket are the four teams that I just mentioned, St. Bonaventure and Georgia State, uh, Boise State, and Creighton. So that's kind of how the tournament is going. And uh, it's a pretty good field. And Georgia is certainly very excited to get that first win today and to uh, get a good test tomorrow against a very good Clemson team. Well, that, that, it will be a good test. Uh, Clemson uh, had a similar situation to us in that they opened up a huge lead on Akron. Uh, however, Akron did come back and make it a three-point game, three-point final score. But nevertheless, it was one of those games that you never felt like Akron would actually be able to overtake Clemson. Clemson just held them at arm's length throughout their run in the second half. Uh, Akron did a good job shooting the basketball from beyond the arc, and that's what enabled them to make it as close as it was at the end. But still, Clemson, a very talented basketball team. Uh, they've got size and length. Uh, it'll be a challenge for Georgia and for both these teams. You know, it'll also be a challenge. You're coming back after playing one day, come right back and play the next day. So you don't get a lot of chance to prepare. You won't have a lot of chance to, you know, practice what they do and how you want to defend it and how you want to attack them offensively. You're going to have to go through some walkthroughs in a ballroom. But like Coach Green <laughs> told this team, you want to be as good in the ballroom as you are on the court. You want to be as good when you are doing just walkthroughs, anything that pertains to this team and the performance on the floor. You want to be all in with 100% concentration and commitment. We hope to talk to Coach Tom Crean here in just a, a few moments. Our uh, locker room report is brought to you in part by Regents. Some things are bigger than banking, like cheering for the dogs every game day. So whether it's a celebratory selfie or a photo on campus, turn your favorite game day moment into a Regents Your Picks Studio Visa Debit card. Order your card at regions.com slash yourpicksstudio. Regions, official bank of the SEC. We'll hit all the numbers from today's Georgia victory and uh, check run through all the statistics for you when we come back. Georgia, an 80-68 to 68 winner today over Illinois State. The Dogs now 3-1 and one on the year. Our postgame coverage continues from the Cayman Islands here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Getting your first real paycheck is like celebrating your own Independence Day. It's life-changing once it's deposited, which you can do using Regions Mobile Deposit in your Regions Mobile app. Choose when and where to make the money available, take a couple of pictures, click a button or two, and boom! One major achievement in the record books. We get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Learn more at regions.com slash mobile deposit. Regions, member FDIC, conditions and fees apply. Hey, Bulldog fans. With Aaron's, having what you want is much easier than you think. Because now you can lease to own all the brands you love in furniture, electronics, and appliances. Yes, all those things you've always dreamed of. At Aaron's, you don't need credit, and you have flexible payment options so you can pay little by little until you own it. Plus, delivery and setup are free, so you can just focus on enjoying. Visit us in-store or at Aaron's.com and discover for yourself how easy it is to have what you want. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. 
This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Brought to you by Blue Emu Lidocaine Cream and Maximum Arthritis Cream. Both deep penetrating and odor free. Beat the pain two ways and live life. Blue Emu, it works fast and you won't stink. Available at nationwide retailers. Did you know Georgia is one of the leading producers of pecans in the entire world? That's how hard Georgia farmers work to help cultivate the state's economy. And that's why Georgia Farm Bureau cultivates farmers with agricultural research and assistance programs and access to benefits that save families money, like home and auto insurance. You can join online for just a few bucks a year. So, get cracking. It's no secret that things grow well in Georgia, like peanuts, cotton, and corn. But families and communities also flourish here. That's because Georgia Power is helping bring new businesses and industries to our state. In the last 10 years alone, we've helped create over 134,000 new jobs. Because Georgia is our home, too. And we want life here to thrive for all of us. Georgia Power. Generating opportunity. Learn more at georgiapower.com slash growth. That's 12 points for Rayshon. Attack. Yarbrough. We took it away. Agvede took it away down the lane. We go back the other way. Crump with a bounce pass to his left. No look. And a drive and a layup. Good. Hammonds. Oh, the dogs are a well-oiled machine. 28-7. to seven. That's our ultimate drive of the game. Driven by BMW. Your Atlanta BMW centers the official luxury vehicle of Georgia Athletics. Welcome back to our locker room report. Our coverage brought to you in part by Regions. Helping Bulldog fans take their next step, we've awarded nearly $1 million in scholarships and hosted over 100,000 financial education workshops. So if you've got a goal, get a game plan at regions.com slash next step. Regions is the official bank of the SEC. Bulldogs head coach Tom Crean has joined us now courtside. Tom, congratulations. Thank this you. was a very impressive-looking victory for your team. Our guys, they really came out from the beginning, and they got them back on their heels, which was going to be important because we felt this was as fast a team and as quick shooting of a team as, as we would, well, nothing's going to, you can't say that when you played Savannah That's State. That's true, yeah. They're in a class by themselves. But as far as in this tournament, the way they shoot behind the line of the screen, behind the, the handoff, uh, they play quick, and, and uh, they really shoot the ball well. So we wanted to come out, get our length established, get um, uh, the fact that we weren't going to, we were going to get challenged, we were going to challenge the shots, we were going to be down on the other end, going deep into the post, not just standing in the post being on the glass, getting some ball movement. And I went with a lineup that does not turn the ball over very much. And, and a big, big thing to me uh, is constantly, okay, if we're going to have turnovers, we've got to have deflections on the other end. And and a three-to-one number of deflections to turn over or a three-and-a-half-to-one number is a big thing when I'm trying to evaluate lineups and things of that nature. So that worked out pretty good. And um, um, we didn't get to play uh, as many guys, as many minutes as I would have liked but we knew they were going to make a run. We knew they were going to come back at us, and they did. They shoot it too well, and they have too much of a playmaker in Yarborough. And, uh, but our guys kept figuring it out, and they kept answering the bell. I was really proud of that. Can I, can I ask you about the, that run they did make when they cut it to 13? The fact that Georgia kind of drew the line in the sand there and said, that's it, and then pushed it back out to 23. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I mean, that, that kind of settled the game at that point. Yeah, that's where we came out of the timeout and scored, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that we executed, and that was really good. That's important for this team because actually we execu- executed on a play. We drew up. So it, it, when we can do that, it, and sometimes we don't run the stuff we, we run all the time as well as we need to. But we'll learn that. We'll get that. But that was really good for this team. It was complete calm. There was no panic. Um, we knew they were going to make a run, and they did. Uh, but much like uh, what we've had in the past, we were able to answer it and, and, and stop it and move forward. And we're going to need every bit of that and more to deal with Clemson tomorrow. Could you talk a little bit about having to prepare for Clemson uh, on just 24 hours? You're going to have to go back to work. And I, I talked about your work in the ballroom. Well, you're going to have to go back yeah, to work in the ballroom. I, I tell our team, and I said it, you heard me say it, I mean, um, you got to be really good in the ballroom. You got to be really good in the video. You got to be really good at coming into that ballroom and understanding what we're trying to do because it's it's not just it's physical movements without being physical, right? You got to yeah. move. You got to understand this is the positioning we want. We're trying to take this away. 
but it's really more mental than it is anything else. And so we got to be able to turn right back around. I think I don't think we'll have any trouble making sure we're totally ready for this. I think they they played them in the past in a scrimmage. Um, there's a history there. I'm sure some were recruited by Clemson. There's a lot of respect for them. They're one of the most experienced teams in the country as far as what I can tell. Uh, they run their offense extremely well. They know what they want. They, they play like a team that's been together uh, for a period of time. And we're prepared as coaches when it comes to the video and, you know, what we want to try to take away. And fortunately now, when you get into a tournament setting, you got to pretty much live on your concepts. you got to make sure you're really, really good at taking away what they want, what they got to have to win. You cannot get away from that. And then you got to be able to throw some other things out there that maybe you haven't shown. So uh, we've got to be ready for all of that in this game. Finally, Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, the game you got from, from Hammonds and Claxton sure. today? They're a, a really good one-two punch. It really was. I mean, and, and, and we're going to go through different lineup situations. This was a game today. Okay, are we going to go a little smaller, okay, to, to match up with more of the shooters? Are we going to make them figure out how to guard us? And I thought about it into the night because it's, I'm not married to starting lineups, and, and uh, I'm really not. We're married to winning, right? We're married to playing groups and who finishes and things of that nature. So to me, um, we decided to stay bigger, and it worked out really well. But there's a real challenge with that because when you're guarding shooters like that, the last thing you can have any of your, your bigger guys do is be overhelping, especially with a passer like Yarbrough that moves it so well. So uh, really great job by Ray. I didn't even have any idea that he had that many. I didn't know what he had at halftime. Um, and I thought a really good job by Nick. Ray played 31 minutes without a turnover. Not only did Nick have 22 and 11, he had 15 deflections. So to me, uh, again, that's a huge, huge number for us. That's active defense. That's not only block shots, of which he had two, but it's active defense. He's a Excellent. great weapon for you. He sure is. It was fun to watch, wasn't it? I it mean, absolutely that, that, is. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was fun to watch. And, and uh, more in style of, I think, what you expect out of a team. And well, what you want to see on the yes and no, okay? We've made eight threes in our last two games. You know, that's we're going to make a lot more, more than, than that. that yeah. yeah, we're going to make a lot more than that. We're 422, 412. You know, we're just not there yet. But but um, we got to find ways to win the games, you know, while we're getting better shooting the ball. And I don't want to stop shooting the ball. We just got to constantly understand, Chuck, you and I had this conversation last night. We got to constantly find what is the game giving us, and eventually the game's going to give us a bunch of threes. But it's but it's not right now. We just don't shoot them well enough yet. But uh, movement, the, the, the confidence to knock them down, the confidence to keep reversing the ball, delivering the ball, that stuff's really good. But with all that being said, if we give up live ball turnovers and we don't get back in transition, none of it matters. We've got to be able to take care of the ball. We got to be able to get back in transition, then find ways to win the rebounding game. On top of that. Coach, congratulations on Thank this you. one. We'll see you for Clemson Thank you. tomorrow. Bye. Coach Tom Crean, wow. Georgia's winning head coach today as the Dogs have defeated Illinois State. Our locker room report brought to you in part by Aaron's, leased to own top brands in furniture, electronics, and appliances with no credit needed. We'll continue from the Cayman Islands. More in a moment on the Bulldog Sports Network. Oh, it looks like your appendix is about to burst. We're going to have to go in and take it out. Is there going to be pain, doctor? Oh, yeah, a lot. Just think about puppies or whatever. Scalpel. Surgery no-brainer. Anesthesia. Barbasol's no-brainer. Finally making razors to go along with America's favorite shaving cream. Try Barbasol's Ultra 6 Plus razor with six ultra-thin blades for a close, comfortable shave. Save now at Barbasol.com. Barbasol. Hi, Georgia fans. I'm Scott Howard here for UPS. Your customers want more from your business. You've got to make more happen, whether they're in Athens, Georgia, or on the other side of the world, globally or locally. UPS is building solutions to help businesses give their customers exactly what they want. More made easy. UPS, official logistics company of Georgia Athletics. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 
Bulldog fans, it's time to wash your car at Swifty Car Wash, the official car wash of UGA Athletics. Now it's even easier than ever to keep your car clean with Swift Pass Unlimited Washes. For as little as $9.99 a month, you can wash as much as you need. No contracts, cancel anytime. Swifty Car Wash in Athens, Winder, and Atlanta. Find all locations at SwiftyCarWash.com. Score on every drive with Swifty Car Wash and Swift Pass Unlimited Washes, official car wash of UGA Athletics. Hey, Bulldog fans. With Aaron's, having what you want is much easier than you think. Because now you can lease to own all the brands you love in furniture, electronics, and appliances. Yes, all those things you've always dreamed of. At Aaron's, you don't need credit, and you have flexible payment options so you can pay little by little until you own it. Plus, delivery and setup are free, so you can just focus on enjoying. Visit us in-store or at errands.com and discover for yourself how easy it is to have what you want. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Welcome back to our Locker Room Report. Georgia winner over Illinois State here in the Cayman Islands Classic. Game number one for the Bulldogs goes their way. 80-68 to is our final. Our postgame coverage is brought to you in part by Regions. Some things are bigger than banking, like cheering for the dogs every game day. Whether it's a celebratory selfie or a photo on campus, turn your favorite game day moment into a Regions Your Picks Studio Visa debit card. Order your card at regions.com slash yourpicksstudio. Regions is the official bank of the SEC. And Northside Hospital is our final game stats sponsor. And uh, we thank Northside for bringing us the final game stats. And they are pretty good if you're a Georgia fan. Uh, let's start with the point totals. Georgia 31 points from Rayshon Hammonds. New career high for the sophomore. He had 31 points on 11 of 22 shooting, 50%. He was 8 of 9 from the free throw line, had 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 0 turnovers in 31 minutes. Nicholas Claxton, the other Bulldog in double digits, he had a double-double as a matter of fact, his second of the season. 22 points, 11 rebounds for Claxton. He was 8 of 13 shooting, 1 of 3 on threes, 5 of 8 at the foul line, had 4 assists, 3 turnovers, 2 blocks, <laughs> One steal and a partridge in a pear tree. Boy, and a chicken outside the arena. Yeah, and a chicken in a pear tree. Yeah. That would have been a, a little bit better. All right, those were the only two Bulldogs in double figures. Uh, the uh, third leading scorer was Ty Fagan, who got 36 minutes today. Fagan finished with eight points, five rebounds. He did have five turnovers, but kind of uh, learning on the job. It, it, and that is the case, a true freshman. But you can see where that young man is a heads-up, smart basketball player, high basketball IQ, and you understand why Tom Crean wants him on the floor. Derek Ogbede had five points in the ball game. Most of those came very early as Georgia built an early 24-point lead uh, in this contest. Uh, off the bench, Amanze Ingumeze also had five points and a rebound. Uh, Turtle Jackson finished with uh, three points in the contest. The Turtle had one assist in the game. Tishon Hightower had two points and three assists. He also had two rebounds. Jordan Harris had two points in six minutes of play. Etorian Woolridge finished with two points, four rebounds, and two assists in 22 minutes on the floor. The dogs shoot 48% in the game. They were 4 of 12 on threes, 20 of 25 from the foul line. That's 80%. They won the war on the glass, out-rebounding Illinois State by 7, 43 rebounds to 36. 16 assists, 15 turnovers, 4 blocks, 3 steals for the Dogs. Hitting a few of the high notes for Illinois State today. Malik Yarbrough, the leading scorer for them. Uh, the Redbirds guard had uh, 20 points and 8 rebounds. He had 7 turnovers in this game. Georgia pressured him very well. He had 4 assists, a block, and a steal. He had to play without his his teammate Phil Fain. Fain, a forward, uh, an outstanding player for the Redbirds in brutal foul trouble today. He ended up fouling out of the game after only 13 minutes and three points. That was a big factor uh, in this contest That was a huge as factor, well. as you pointed out in the first half when he went to the bench with the three fouls and missed most of the first half. And then uh, in the second half, he comes out and picks up that fourth and back to the bench. Yep. And so, yeah. It, it, and then when he got back in, I don't think he was on the floor 20 seconds, and he picked up his fifth foul and was gone for good. He wants to get back to the beach, I guess. Redbird shot 37, 37.5%. They were nine of, this? 9 of 27 on threes. We're finishing uh, 11 of 19 from the free throw line, uh, 58% in the ballgame. They had 11 assists, 14 turnovers, 7 blocks, 6 steals. Final tonight, or this afternoon, 80 to 68. Georgia was a winner. The Dogs get Clemson tomorrow uh, in the uh, winner's bracket contest. A 130 tip 
and a 105 airtime for the Bulldogs and the Tigers. Our locker room report brought to you in part by Aaron's, lease to own top brands in furniture, electronics, and appliances with no credit needed. We've got more of our locker room post game report coming up with Cabell Philpot. He's in our uh, Piedmont Healthcare Network studios. Again, our final from the Cayman Islands, Georgia 80, Illinois State 68. Cabell's next here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Whether you're an elite athlete, in youth sports, or a weekend warrior, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network keeps you in the game and ready for action. Our team of experts offers a full range of sports medicine services to prevent and treat injuries and improve performance. With 10 locations in the Atlanta region, the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network is in your neighborhood. For details, call 1-855-NH-SPORT. That's 1-855-NH-SPORT. Indeed knows it's hard to find qualified candidates when you're hiring. It's like finding a unicorn. But when you post your job on Indeed, it's easy to find people with the skills you need. Nurse practitioner, four plus years experience, acute care certification. Indeed has a huge pool of amazing candidates and screener tools that help you find your most qualified applicants. Whoa, an entire short list of unicorns. See why more than 3 million companies worldwide use Indeed to hire. Post your job at Indeed.com slash hire. Indeed, the world's number one job site. Source com score total visits. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. In the Southeastern Conference, we are driven by the quest for more. More titles, more NCAA records, but also more renewable energy sources for some of the nation's greenest campuses. For more partnerships with NASA, the NSA, and the UN. For more billions pumped into our state economies, our 14 leading universities know that no matter how much we achieve, we can always do more. Yeah, in the SEC, it just means more. In today's weather, mostly sunny with a 100% chance of rain and some clouds and locusts. Forecasters, meteorologists, and news stations always seem to get the weather wrong. But Aunt Susie's knee has been right 99% of your life. So when you get that call today from your aunt, reach for Blue Emu Maximum Arthritis Cream. Always odor-free and deep penetrating so you can beat the pain before it even shows up. Blue Emu works fast and you won't stink. Blue Emu available at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and other national retailers. Cabell Philpott back inside the Piedmont Healthcare Network Studios. Georgia advancing today in the first round of the Cayman Islands Classic 80-68 over Illinois State. They'll meet Clemson tomorrow at the same time. This game was played today. 130 tip, 105 airtime along these same network stations. A couple other scores real quick. Eighth ranked Auburn leading Xavier now by only two points. 62-60. The Tigers up on the X-Men. 6-39 remaining in the second. That's the tip-off game of the Maui Invitational. Top 25 action. We told you about Clemson. They beat Akron 72-69 earlier today. They advance to play the Georgia Bulldogs tomorrow in game two of the Cayman Island Classics uh, tournament on Tuesday. Georgia 80, Illinois State 68. We wrap things up right after these messages. Georgia Bulldog Sports Network. Coach Kirby Smart here. Let's talk about the official health care provider of the Georgia Bulldogs, Piedmont Healthcare. Piedmont makes sure that our dogs are playing their best and they're also there for the times they're not. But you don't have to be a college athlete to get bumps and bruises. With urgent care, same day appointments, virtual visits from your smartphone or desktop, and Piedmont Quick Care at Walgreens, they've got the care you need when you need it. Booking an appointment is only a click away. So for game day and every day, get better at piedmont.org slash UGA. Getting your first real paycheck is like celebrating your own Independence Day. It's life-changing once it's deposited, which you can do using Regions Mobile Deposit in your Regions Mobile app. Choose when and where to make the money available, take a couple of pictures, click a button or two, and boom, one major achievement in the record books. We get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Learn more at regions.com slash mobile deposit. Regions, member FDIC, conditions and fees apply. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 
Hey, Bulldog fans. With Aaron's, having what you want is much easier than you think. Because now you can lease to own all the brands you love in furniture, electronics, and appliances. Yes, all those things you've always dreamed of. At Aaron's, you don't need credit, and you have flexible payment options so you can pay little by little until you own it. Plus, delivery and setup are free, so you can just focus on enjoying. Visit us in-store or at errands.com and discover for yourself how easy it is to have what you want. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Home or away, win or lose, you are a diehard fan. Tethered to your team by a legacy of fierce ambition and unwavering pride. At Ford, it's this kind of drive and dedication that pushes us to go further. With smart technology and innovative design, Ford gives you the confidence, comfort, and style you need for the road ahead. For great offers on Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs, see your local Ford dealer today. This broadcast of Georgia Basketball is authorized under rights granted to IMG College LLC and JMI Sports by the University of Georgia and is intended solely for the entertainment of our listening audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, retransmission, or commercial use or the descriptions and accounts of this game without the express written consent of IMG College, JMI Sports, and the University of Georgia is prohibited. The announcers are selected Selected by IMG College and approved by the University of Georgia. Dogs a winner today, 80-68 over Illinois State to advance to the semifinal game of the Cayman Islands Classic. They'll play Clemson tomorrow, 1.30 tip-off, 105 airtime around these same radio network stations. For our entire broadcast crew, I'm Cabell Philpott saying goodnight, reminding you the final score from the Cayman Islands Classic. Round one, Georgia 80, Illinois State 68. Dogs on top. You've been listening to the Locker Room Report, presented by Regions Bank and Aaron's on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Today's coverage has been brought to you by Regions Bank, the official bank of the SEC. By Aaron's, lease to own top brands in furniture, electronics, and appliances with no credit needed at Aaron's. Barbasol, here's a no-brainer. Barbasol is making razors. Try the Barbasol Ultra 6 Plus today. And by State Farm, here to help life go right. Talk to an agent at 800-STATE-FARM. The executive producers of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network are Tom Stoltz and Tim Bernetti. Associate producers Tom McDonald and Chris Ferris. Network manager Adam Witten. I'm staff announcer Carl Shannon. Special thanks to the University of Georgia, Athletics Director Greg McGarity, and to the staff and management of Cox Media Group. Georgia Basketball is an exclusive presentation of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network, powered by IMG and JMI Sports.